Oh my. working it in. Join the Bev Five TV station, Manny. They're looking for on-air talent. Since they only shoot from the waist up, no one will see your hands. That is a brilliant idea. After all, what more do you need to get through life than a pretty face? Great. I'll show you where to sign up. Uh, TV station? Uh, David? Wait! Ah! Stop procrastinating and hurry up, girls. We're Excellent, you're here. Yeah, just in time to discover that you're a total slob, Jer. This mess is exactly why I summoned you, to take inventory of all these gadgets. What? Since when do we have to take inventory? We're super spies now. Plus, last time we checked, Gladys was your assistant. I am not an assistant. I am a gadget lending and distribution interactive system, and taking inventory is beneath me. It's settled, then. I'll check back with you later. <laughs> so where should we start? I guess with these. Multifunction charm bracelet, heat sensor motion detector sunglasses, and the wind tunnel hair dryer. Hmm. Would the heat sensor motion detector sunglasses be filed under H for heat or S for sunglasses? How about B for boring? Hey, a video game! I knew Jer wasn't all work and no play. game was more like a teleporting gadget, Alex. We better give Jer a call so he can come pick us up. Oh, great. The landing must have broken our X powders. Oh, well then, I guess there's only one thing we can do. Walk back to Whoop? <laughs> no. Go shopping. Huh. Haven't seen this store before. It's a bit Euro for Beverly Hills, but if it's the new trend, who am I to argue? How can you feel good if you don't look good? Totally! It's what's on the outside that counts! <laughs> Where have I heard that before? After all, what more do you need to get through life than a pretty face? <laughs> <sighs> Is it me, or does everyone sound like... If you can't judge a person by their looks, then how can you know who to date? Tune in tonight for a very special live edition of As the World Revolves Around Me. Wait a sec. The Bev High TV station is closed circuit. It can't broadcast this far. Uh, y you mean she has a real TV show? Life can be cruel. Yeah, cruel to Mandy. I mean, I've heard of the camera adding pounds, but years? Hmm? Uh, girls, I don't think we're in Beverly Hills anymore. Jerry's gadget wasn't a teleporter. It was a time machine. You mean we're 15 years in the future? 20. Who cares about math? I just lost my youth. <sighs> Boy, they're not kidding when they say it goes by fast. Forget youth, we have bigger problems. In case you haven't noticed, Mandy is a mega celebrity. <gasps> we have to get to Whoop so Jerry can transport us back to the past where Mandy's just, just, just Mandy and not some super-sized superstar. Huh. Deep one acceptor 
code. Rejected? As if. Way to accessorize us out of a sticky situation, Clover. Weird. Everything's covered in plastic. Reminds me of my grandmother's house. Let's power up Gladys. She'll know what's going on. her to be difficult at a time like this. Maybe you better do it the old-fashioned way and hotwire her. Sam, Clover, Alex, what are you doing here? And why do you look so young? We found Jerry's time machine and, well, here we are. But where's Whoop? Whoop shut down years ago. Shut down? As in closed? In a word, yes. What about in several words? Jerry was getting old and tired, so he had himself cryogenically frozen. His plan is to thaw himself in 100 years, in hopes that science will have advanced enough to extend his life. Whoa. Whoa, amazing. Yeah, amazingly gross. He looks all pruny. <laughs> Over? What? It's not like he can hear me. Hmm. Gladys, you must know how to get us back to the past, being Jerry's assistant and all. I am not an assistant. I am a gadget lending and distribution interactive system, and operating a time machine is beneath me. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Hey, maybe we can help ourselves. Now's not the time for new age cliches, Sammy. We need a way back. No, 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 our future selves. Maybe our 2025 selves can help us. That's right, there are two of us now. Gladys, whatever happened to us? You went into business for yourselves. You loved being spies too much to give it up just because Jerry retired. Oh, wow, we sound so great. All right then, let's pay ourselves a little visit. <laughs> We still live together, how awesome! Uh, more like pathetic. I mean, hello, 30-something and still single? <laughs> On second thought, maybe we should let ourselves in. Oh, that looks like us! And we don't look like we want to be going wherever that thing is taking us. so I haven't worked out for a few days, but should I be this winded? I am with ya. I feel like I've been on a shop thon and I don't even have anything to show for it. The time travel must be affecting our molecular structure. At this rate, I don't think we have much time before we deteriorate into nothingness. In that case, we better look for clues ASAP. <laughs> I wonder if I'll mind if I borrow it for myself. Wow, it's like I don't even know myself anymore. <gasps> Ollie! <laughs> okay, I'm still me. Awesome! Now this is something to look forward to. Oh, I wonder if I still have the same password. I am so predictable and so changing that when I get home. Let's see what files I have. Emails, personal, bingo, work. Let's see what the last file was that I worked on. Mandy! Clover! Alex, come check this out! We have a file on Mandy and look at this. She went from having one talk show to running Mandy Media Enterprises all in the span of a month. She is enterprising. I think we think she's more than enterprising. She's up to something bad. So she must be behind the abduction then. Uh, never thought I'd say this, but it's time to pay Mandy a little visit. <laughs> Guess a big celeb like her can't have too much security. Mandy, live with Mandy, Judge Mandy, Mandy 90210. 
Hey, didn't Jumbotron Mandy say she was doing a special live show tonight? Hey, good idea. We'll sabotage her broadcast. Or we can look for clues to find out what she's up to. Yeah, okay, Sam. Except for the shameless self-obsession, it all looks pretty normal to me. Except, I've never seen a camera like this before. Pretty high-tech stuff. You guys, there's a weird pulsing inside the chassis, like some sort of transmitter. Did you hear that? There's a room behind this wall. Oh, maybe one of these. No. How about this one? Knockoffs. I don't know, but that so totally doesn't look like me. But it is me. I mean, I am you. Hmm. We actually traveled through time with your time machine. A good try, but I don't recall doing that. And if you were really me, then I'd remember, wouldn't I? That makes total sense. And I can see where you, I mean, I would think that, except no. You see, the cycle has to start somewhere, and we're it, so you haven't experienced it yet. Therefore, you can't remember it yet. This is so like us to travel through time to save ourselves. Uh. We're awesome. Well, we sort of got here by accident, but now that we're here, we'll get us out of this mess. Totally. I mean, for one thing, I need to know where I got that outfit. That's Trey cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure you can get away with something like that anymore, Clover. I mean, you are kind of old. <laughs> Trust me, you won't feel old when you're actually here. Says you. I'm already feeling it. In fact, I'm not so sure I'll even uh. make it to 2025. You have to, or I won't make it. And if I don't make it, we won't be able to stop Mandy from broadcasting her hypnotizing show into every house across the world. So that's what the transmitter is for. It's some sort of hypnotic device. Well, we have to stop that show from airing, but first we need to get you out of here. Be careful, these frames are electrically charged. Well, well, well. What freak of nature do we have here? <laughs> Nightmare, double trouble. Hardly, nothing will stop me from mendifying the entire planet. Mendifying? Don't you mean hypnotizing? Why earn something when you can just take it? And once everyone worships me like they do in Mandy Hills, I'll be the number one celebrity of all time. <laughs> so you can get back to the past. We'll go after Mandy. Thanks. I always knew I could count on myself. Welcome to As the World Revolves Around Mandy. My guest tonight is... me! Because when you're perfect, no one else will do. <laughs> and I'm here to invite you into my coveted world, because you too can be just like me. Sorry, show canceled. But, but, 
15 minutes are up. He's thawing. Or melting. Uh, whatever he's doing, he better pick up the pace, because my knees are seriously buckling here. What? Drat! I thought I'd wake up in the future, not the past. You are in the future! Well, sort of. I mean, we were actually the ones in the future thanks to your time machine, and you're technically in the... Oh, oh, all I know is we need to get home, Jer. Are you saying my time machine worked? Yes! See? You're so good at your job, you don't even realize it. It's a shame you retired. Thanks, Sam. But my, you're all looking rather peaked. We need to put the pedal to the metal, Jer, or else we might not have the strength to travel. Say no more. Now, where did I put that time machine? Well, since I never actually used it, I haven't seen it for decades. Hello, may I suggest you look in the file of unused gadgets? Of course. It's in cold storage file XJ923. Gladys, fetch the machine. Fetching is beneath me, Jerry. Gladys! Well, if you put it that way. Oh, Jer, it's good to see you up and unthawed. Clover, Sam, Alex. We stopped the broadcast, but we just couldn't let us leave without saying goodbye. What about the damage already done? Oh, you know how fickle fans are. Everyone will be emulating someone else next week. Yeah, right. We'll just put her in the holding facility. Jer, when'd you put that in? I believe I created that in 2010. You know, all this spy activity is making me feel quite invigorated. 20 years younger, in fact. I think I'll reopen Whoop. Just because you're back doesn't mean you can start bossing me around, Jerry. Just like old times. Um, maybe Alex was right. We really can't pull that off anymore. Thanks. If you can't be honest with yourself. All right, girls. Are you ready? Oh, my. I must say, your lack of progress is rather disappointing. We'll explain later. Right now, we've got to change the future. Change the future? Girls, what's going on here? Less questioning and more helping. As in, find me a gadget that can make my nails grow back pronto. I'm sure I must have something. Ah, here you are. Thanks, Jer. You know, you look 20 years younger all of a sudden. Ah. Okay, girls, time to sell it. Uh, wow, Clover! Do you really think you will be head cheerleader? Of course she will, Alex! With Mandy out of the picture now! <gasps> Luckily, she'll never get her hands on my super nail enhancing polish! You better hurry before you miss your audition. I have better things to do than a stupid high school TV show now that I'm back in form. After all, it's what's on the outside that counts. Hmm. Well, that's it. Everything's back to normal. Shouldn't we be happier than this? Changing the course of history isn't as simple as it seems. Let's just hope nothing else comes along to steer Mandy or anyone in that direction again. Hey, Clover. You know, you should think about trying out for the TV spot. Me? Famous? A TV celeb? Do you think they'll broadcast all the way to Clover Hill? Mm. No thanks. Not interested.
This is Agent Smiley in the containment center. I need to report a mistake. <laughs> I've ever seen. Guess that's why they call it Mission Improbable. <laughs> More like Mission Chat Right, never in a million years. On account of Nia's hair would be way messed up from that bulky mask. Why can't someone make a decent spy flick for once? My sentiments exactly. <laughs> Which is why I need to see you ladies right away. <laughs> Since when does Jerry care about spy flicks? <laughs> Since right now, girls, I have exciting news. My dream of becoming a professional thespian is finally coming true. Professional thespian? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. Let's all walk around the garden. Let's take a drift down the stream. Let's have a stroll to the beach, my friend. We'll eat strawberries and cream. Oh, whoa, purple tights? Now that's what I call a tragedy. It's a comedy, actually. Pipster, I was the lead. Ever since college, when I minored in musical theater, I've wanted to be an actor, and now I can. Okram Ariamal, a major Hollywood director, has tapped me to star in his latest big-budget spy flick, 0067. You? Indeed, me. Who better to play a spy than a real spy? Uh, I don't know. Maybe an actor? <gasps> oh, like Rad Pitt or that hunky dude Shaw? The reason spy flicks are so unrealistic is because actors don't know how to portray spies. Whoa! Wait a minute. Are you saying this director knows your secret identity? Oh, don't be so naive, Sam. These Hollywood types know everything. It's called being in the know. But you're not the type who becomes a star. I am. I mean, no offense, but aren't you a little past your prime? Oh, I get it. Six, seven, sixty-seven. That must be referring to his age. Joke all you want, girls, but the fact of the matter is, yours truly is headed for the silver screen. This is crazy. How are you going to run a spy agency while you're off shooting a movie? I'm not. You three are. <gasps> I'm turning the day-to-day -day operations of Whoop over to you while I'm on set. After all, you're super spies now. You can handle it. No, we can't. Not with schoolwork and boys and shopping and boys and... It's only for a few weeks while I'm in Hollywood, until my film wraps. Then I'll be back and in charge. Just stick to this agenda and you'll do fine. Agenda? But I'm no good for the agendas! Jerry! I must be early. Chair, baby, you made it. Ah, Mr. Ariamal, so good to see you. Oh, please, call me Okram. Will do, Okram. Am I the first one here? Perhaps I should take the time to go over the script. Script? No, 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 no. This is cinema verite. It's done fast and on the fly. Oh, of course, verite. How cutting edge. So here's a little prop I cooked up. It's got a liquid trampoline, rubber dissolver, laser glass cutter, and most importantly, 0067's signature weapon, the freeze ray. I'll pretend, of course. Amazing. It looks almost real. Well, that's the magic of Hollywood, Jer. Now, the evil villain Lorenzo will soon pull out of his estate in his car. His plan to rob the museum of the Taylor Diamond, depriving the world of its beauty. Fiend. Exactamundo. It's 0067's duty to stop him like a real spy would. Using his fake gadgets, that is. This is terribly exciting. I can't wait to get started. Good, because here we go.
feeling isn't cool, Lorenzo, but this is... <gasps> Cut! Brilliant! You're a natural, Jer. Thank you. Though I must say, it all felt so real. The gadget, the tires dissolving. Well, that's special effects, Jer. These guys are the cream of the crop in their field. Well done indeed. Perhaps I should also congratulate my fellow thespians. Oh, method actor. You know how it is. They hate to break character even when the scene wraps. <laughs> oh, of course. I, I dabble in method acting myself. Excellent. So I'll meet you at the next location, Jerry Baby. I'm sure your second scene will be as brilliant as your first. Indeed. <laughs> Restock toilet paper in the Woo bathrooms? Order lunch for all the in-house agents? Doesn't Jerry know the meaning of the word delegate? Duh, he delegated all of Whoop to us. Hmm, good point. Well, there's gotta be someone we can delegate to. We're super spies. <laughs> okay, how are we supposed to work with that going on? It's a red alert. Super spies. Awesome, a red alert's <gasps> definitely more important than toilet paper restocking. The head of a major Hollywood movie studio has been reported missing. He never arrived at work. The last place he was seen was in his Hollywood Hills home. I get to save a Hollywood movie studio mogul? This is so my chance to break in. Hey, we should give Jerry a call. After all, he's in Hollywood. Maybe he's seen something. Good thinking, Alex. If anything's going on, Jerry's got to be all over it. He's not one to miss a clue. <laughs> Hello? It's us, Jer. We just got a red alert and... Look, girls, I'm in the middle of my vocal exercises. It takes immense concentration. So whatever's going on, you'll just have to handle it. Oh, talk about rude. Um, uh, maybe the stress of celebrity is getting to him. Either way, looks like we'll have to solve this one on our own. Perhaps a gadget or two might help. Here are the heat sensor motion detector sunglasses, ultra inflatable tech vest, and the wind tunnel 9000 tornado blast hair dryer. Boring much? We're super spies now, as in where's the bling, Glad? That's more like it. We'll take three. But we don't even know what it does. Who cares? It's beautiful, and sometimes isn't that enough? Hmm. is actually... Hold that thought, Glad. Got a jet. Hollywood awaits. Ladies. Are you sure Jerry won't mind if we borrow his jet? We're in charge, remember? So we might as well enjoy the perks. Totally. I mean, we're going to Hollywood. And if we can't arrive in a limo, we have to take the next best thing. Even if we don't know how to drive it! So, this is what a big wig studio mogul's house looks like. Nice. Everything seems normal. To the naked eye, maybe. Hmm. Thought for sure the heat sensor motion detector sunglasses would reveal something. Hey, what gives? Littering, which is so uncool. Sammy, wait. I think there's some writing on that paper. Bingo! We have our first lead, girls. Now all we need to do is a handwriting analysis. In this next scene, you'll infiltrate the office of evil Evelyn and take her out with your freeze ray before she calls her cronies out of retirement for one last heist. No props, Okram baby. That's my star. <laughs> are totally ruining my manicure. Just put them in the file cabinet for now. We'll alphabetize later. Hmm, wrong button. Wonder what it does. Manicure 911 here. Oh! Like I said, I'm no good with agendas. Clover, Alex, I have the results of the writing analysis. 
Then why do you look like the girl at the prom without a date? Because it reveals that the handwriting belongs to Jerry. Our Jerry? Impossible! The program must be buggy. Run it again. Oh, another red alert? Double red alert. There's a crime in progress. An alarm has been triggered at the headquarters of another major Hollywood studio. Seems like someone has a major beef with Hollywood. They must have seen Mission Improbable! <laughs> Yes, JR, we're schmoozing with the EP about the pre-pro on the indie prod rom-com, but the idea is giving us a hard time. <laughs> Freeze, Evelyn, and I mean that literally. Cut! Magnifique! You're a natural 0067. You're gonna be huge at the box office. Well, it does come naturally. Hold it right there, intruder! Jerry? Jerry? Girls? What's going on here? Well, what's going on is we're shooting a movie and you're interrupting! Uh, if this is a movie, then why does she look so seriously freaky? Maybe the handwriting analysis wasn't wrong after all. Maybe Jerry is involved. It's called method acting, Sam. You'll have to excuse them. They know nothing of the craft. Now, please leave. Can't you see I'm busy? We're not here to see you, Chair. We're here on official group business. Such passion. <clears throat> Did anyone ever tell you girls you should be in pictures? <laughs> Only every day. This is too wonderful. You three are just perfect for the junior spy roles. Uh, just stand here. Your stunts in this movie are truly magnificent, Ogrum. It's gotta look real, or no one will believe it, right? Ah! What are we gonna do? Ah! Ah! I don't know, but when I dreamed of leaving my mark on Hollywood, this so isn't what I had in mind. Don't worry, girls. All you have to do is hold on tight and hope we don't land on anything pointy. <laughs> A killer action scene! Yeah, only somehow I don't think we'll make it into the final cut. Totally. I mean, there's so obviously something up with that Okram character. You mean the way he's brainwashed Jerry? Well, that, and the way he launched me through a window instead of using me in his movie? Hello? What kind of loser director is he? Come on, I think it's time to do some digging into Okram's credit list. <laughs> He doesn't even have credits. This guy's not an A-list director. <laughs> no wonder he doesn't know talent when it's staring him in the face. Maybe we need to come at it from a different angle. Let's do a search on Whoop's past baddies. <gasps> Look at that! Marco Lumiere escaped from a Whoop prison a few days ago. Hey, he's the wannabe who couldn't break into showbiz, so he forced everyone, including us, to be in his lame-o movie. So he changed his name and face, but his M.O. is still the same. And this time he's using poor Jer to do his dirty work by tricking him into taking out Hollywood's top execs. We gotta get to Jer before Lumiere decides he doesn't need him anymore. And I know just where to find them. Lumiere took out the top two studio execs so far, so his next target will be the third top mogul in Hollywood. <laughs> One for you, and another for you. Here you go. For you, and another for you. Uh, thanks. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh, how I love spending time with my adoring fans. We're losing daylight, Jer, so we gotta get this in the can ASAP. Now, in this next scene, 0067 captures the brains behind the entire Taylor Diamond heist. Not so fast, Lumiere. Lumiere? Girls, Okram is an A-list director, and I'll thank you not to let your petty jealousies ruin my stardom. Jerry, you don't understand. I understand completely. From now on, my focus is my new career. I'm handing Whoop over to you permanently. <gasps> Jer, this is for your own good. Uh, uh, ah! Clover! Uh. <laughs> okay, so we had plastic surgery to change his appearance. It's not just 
just for women anymore, you know. Get rid of them! Yes, sabotaging a movie shoot is quite unforgivable. Sorry, Jerry, but there comes a time when the student must become the teacher. <laughs> no, film, but my performances. <laughs> Jer, baby! Uh, film's a thing of the past. This is the newest technology. Can it, Lumiere? I'm on to you. Not if I'm on to you first. I don't think so. Oh! oh. was a little stiff. This ought to loosen you up. No, not the freeze ray. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> okay, this is definitely not good. Tell me about it. This is so going to slow down my shopping excursions. I think Jerry has it worse. All of him is frozen. Wonder why we're not. Girls, these sweaters must be some sort of freeze ray protection. Uh, talk about a fashion coup. Guess it's time for a little turbo action to melt the freeze. Pins and needles, pins and needles. Thank you. Now it's time to give Lumiere the performance of my life. Jer, wait! Okay. What? It's his big scene. He's got to look the part. <laughs> oh! Give it up, Lumiere. You couldn't direct traffic on a one-way street. That's about as clever as your 0067 dribble. But this casting session is closed! <laughs> Didn't your mother ever tell you it's not polite to point? If you don't mind, I'd like to do the honors. After all, I wasn't cast as 0067 for nothing. you can use a little cooling off. Yay! Yay! Oh, bravo! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Oh, my. Were you girls reorganizing? Uh, yeah. That's it. Reorganizing. I suppose now that my career as a professional thespian didn't work out, I should be happy I can return to my spy career. Uh, check that chair. Whoops, ours now, remember? And if you want to come back, you'll have to work for us. You can start by restocking the bathroom. Can I please get some toilet paper? What are they talking about? <laughs> Several agents are filing grievances. You'll receive mine shortly. On second thought, welcome back, boss. <laughs> Amateurs. <sighs> Who could that be at this hour? Hello? Hmm. For me?
Saudi. Fernando? <laughs> Hi, Clover. And you must be Alex. Oh, he knows my name. <laughs> Alex, this is Fernando. We dated like a gazillion years ago. Two to be exact. Then my family moved to South America. And now you're back in the BH? Back to stay. See you to around. Isn't he like the coolest? Yeah, but won't it be kind of weird seeing your ex every day at school? Ah, no way! With my busy social calendar, I run into multiple exes all day long. History of Brazil, the people of Brazil. Ah, where is that book? Can I be of assistance? Um, I just can't find this book for my extra credit project. All about Brazil. Hmm. Ah, a fine book. But here is one that will be much more helpful. All about Brazil and more. It's perfect. My dream is to like spend a whole summer in the Andes Mountains just soaking up the culture and everything. <laughs> ah, yes. I spend many summers hiking in the majestic Andes. Hey, um, maybe since you know so much about South America... I'd love to help you with your school project. Then it's a date. Uh, a study date. <laughs> Day. Okay, Spill! I want all the deeds, Sam! He is so smart and well-traveled, and he's totally tall with jet black hair and a killer smile! What a coincidence! He sounds just like Clover's ex who just started here! Wait, Fernando's your ex? Wow! Oh, don't worry, Sam, because Clover's like so over him, right, Clover? You stay away from him! He's my ex-boyfriend! He just offered to help me with my extra credit project. He asked you out. We'll only be studying. Yeah, each other. I can study with anyone I want. Perfect. Then study with anyone, just not him. <laughs> well, Fernando's anyone too. Yeah, my anyone. Boy trouble again? Why, I remember as a young lad, two bonny lasses fighting over me. Uh, Jerry, don't you have, like, a mission for us or something? Ah, yes. This one presents quite a challenge, Super Spies. Men all over the country are falling into deep trances. Maybe a bug going around? I detect an evil scheme, and I want you to find out what it is. But not without your gadgets. The Wind Tunnel 9000 Laser Tornado Blast Hair Dryer for Alex. And a throwing extendable rod mascara for Sam. And for all, the brand new Puffy Pendants. In an emergency, they become highly effective gas masks. It really is fluffy. Also at your disposal, Whoop's brand new stealthy jet set skis. Quick as a cheetah and just as silent, enabling you to sleep. <gasps> Sammy speaking. <gasps> Fernando! Saturday at 1? It's a date. A study date. <laughs> a study date on Saturday? Just because you don't study on Saturday or any other day. <laughs> so it kind of sounds like some flower delivery guy knocked out Mr. Bentley. <laughs> I don't care about the delivery guy. Find out who sent the flowers. Someone's moving in on my boyfriend. <laughs> Not any of you, is it? No way. What kind of horrible girl would do something like that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, these flowers are way exotic. But what are they? Wait, it says species unknown. They're not even in the Whoop database. <laughs> Mr. Bentley, it was the flowers. So the flowers are moving in on our boyfriend? Zombify all you want. You're coming with us. That's like not normal, right?
Dear, we've got two zonked out people and some totally nasty flowers ready for pickup. Clover, your purchases per hour ratio hasn't been this low since the great shopping bag shortage of last summer. Oh, well, I'm just worried about how that poor lady's gonna cope without her boyfriend. Or is it how you're gonna cope without Fernando? No way! Just because he's on a study date with Sam doesn't mean that... Huh? <sighs> Clover! Hi! Some study date looks like a date date to me. No, see? I I've even brought my books. We were just studying, um... South American hotties? That much I know. Perhaps we have studied enough for today. We shall continue tomorrow at lunch, Huggy Wuggy. Oh, how cute he calls you Huggy Wuggy. <clears throat> That's what he used to call me! Greetings, super spies. The flower specimen you sent in is an unknown hybrid of three poisonous tropical flowers. The Narcissus comatosus, the Noxious roseum, and the Acacia make me gagus. Phew! Who would make a flower like that? And where? Most tropical flowers can only grow in one part of the world. So if we find out where they can all grow together... Now, the areas where each flower grows... They overlap in only one tiny area! That's our island! <laughs> they use for the hybrid. Looks like they're planning to knock out a whole lot more guys. Oh. <laughs> I think I found the make me gaggus. Maybe the answer's in there. Rustic thing outside is just camouflage. <gasps> Wait! You're using the net throwing extendable rod mascara? No, this is my regular mascara. of the operation, then that must be the heart. Wait! I need yours, too. You want both our eggs powders? No, this is my regular compact. Get accessorized, too. Hmm. Hasn't this laser reflecting thing kind of not worked before? The trick is to use more than one mirror. Makeup. It'll never let you down. What 
What's with all those red dots? Look, it's some kind of list. Hey, there's Mr. Bentley. It's the list of all the guys who've been zombified by those flowers. all of civilization, just half. The male half! Fernando! Five years ago, I was madly in love with a wonderful man who dumped me for another! Do you know what that feels like? I have an idea. I swore I would get even with him one day, and now I have, with the Viola van der Fleetus. You did all this because of one man. What about all the other guys you've zombified? Well, they all dumped me too. Wow, lady, looks like you need a few dating tips. But it's not just me. There are a lot of angry, hurt women out there, and we all want revenge. You tell it, sister! I mean, you'll never get away with it. Oh? Watch me. I start with three beautiful venomous flowers, inject a little plant food, The Viola van der Fleetus. And it can also shoot stinging thorns, swallow a man's head, and shoot acid from ten feet away. <laughs> it can even deliver itself. With a DNA sample, it can track anybody, anywhere. And that's not fair. What if you get an innocent guy? Oh, there are no innocent guys. If a man hasn't dumped a woman yet, oh, he will. So I'm going to get them all. <laughs> And you can be an important part of my grand strategy. <laughs> you know you want to. Never! Fine. Never. Take them to the botany lab. Perhaps they can participate in our latest experiment. <laughs> We can't keep our ex-boyfriends waiting! <laughs> oh, I don't like being a guinea pig! It's so beautiful! <laughs> Not! I can't beach my fluffy pendant! Ah! 
great gadgets on our next mission. Yeah? Well, this one's not over yet. new antidote, Miss Vanderfleet would be under the spell of her very own creation for a long, long time. Now she can spend that time in a nice, cozy prison cell. Hey, what's with all the lawnmowers? Time to mow down Miss Vanderfleet's latest crop of mischief. Would you girls care to help? Yard work? Sorry, not in the job description. <laughs> Toodles! Hmm. <laughs> Staying in tonight? I thought you had another study date. Clover, our friendship is way too important to let some silly guy come between us. Fernando is off the speed dial. Oh, Sam, you sacrificed for me? Oh! Hmm? Oh, well, look who's got it going on. Oh, this is nothing. Just got a study date. Well, I can't wait to meet him. Could it be... Fernando? Huggy Wuggy! Yeah! Huggy Wuggy! <laughs> Fernando? Is your study date? Uh, yeah. First we're studying at the Beverly Hills Bistro, then going over test questions at the Multiplex, then quizzing each other up at Lookout Point. You guys don't mind, do you? with perfect, wonderful Barry? No! Alex has to get a new dress! And as one of your closest friends, I feel that it is my responsibility to help you pick it out. I don't know if I really need a new dress. <laughs> of 
course you do. I mean, if you don't get a new dress, how am I supposed to borrow it? Right with my eye color. Oh, <laughs> I mean, your eye color. Sam, what do you think? I think the green one looks better with Clover's eyes. Mm. <gasps> it's him! Barry! Uh, what are you doing? Don't you know a boy isn't supposed to see a girl in her date dress before the date? Oh, that'll bring seven years of bad dating luck. Really? Oh, okay, now you're being ridiculous. Alex, quick! Pull down the blinds! <laughs> Too late! The bad dating luck has begun. Oh, great! Now I must think I'm an idiot! I hope Barry doesn't have a convertible! <laughs> Good afternoon, super spies. Ah, new dress? That'll go great with Clover's eyes. <laughs> What's up, Jerry? There's something very odd going on, and I need you to check it out. Cool. Actually, cold. Extremely cold. Several people have been found frozen solid. Our scientists have never seen anything like it. Are the people okay? For now. They seem to be in some sort of hibernation. We're trying to figure out how to thaw them out. The only clue we have is this recording we got from a distress call. You've got to help me! He's after me! Ah! What was that weird music? We don't know, but it's our only clue. We're on it, Jerry. As I knew you would be. Gladys? Animals, based on what we know so far, I think that the following items will keep you from getting a cold reception. Get it? Get it? We got it, Gladys. For Sam, we've got the multifunction charm bracelet. How come I can't get the charm bracelet? Because the last time you used it, you inflated the emergency life raft inside an elevator. <laughs> yeah, that was something. So, for Clover, let's go to the high range sound sensing CD MP3 player. What do I get? Considering that you're already overdressed, let's go simple. Hologram projecting mood ring. What do you mean, overdressed? Scour the city, ladies. Find the source of that distinctive sound, and you'll find our perpetrator. <laughs> Plain old ice cream?
truck. Not for long. Nice! Nobody does electromagnet like I do electromagnet. young man is also perfectly fine for someone who is flash frozen. He probably won't even remember what happened to him, assuming we can figure out how to thaw him. How's it going? I just finished running the scan on the sample of the ice cream we scraped off the road. Main ingredient? Baroaco? What's that? Only an exceptionally rare experimental element that causes anything it comes in contact with to freeze immediately. How do you know these things? Because instead of spending all my time listening to music, I occasionally read books. Can't be that simple. I'll have the whoop scientist start working on an antifreeze formula straight away. Hello? <gasps> oh, hi, Barry. I'm so excited about the dance. What time are you going to pick me up? <clears throat> Something came up. You're not going to be able to go to the dance after all? Oh, no. That's okay. I understand. More dating bad luck. <laughs> Wait, Barry? What's making that sound? An ice cream truck just pulled up to the school! Wait! Barry! Don't hang up! Take the car. We repaired it. Just be more careful with it this time. Ah! Where is everyone? This is major creepy. We'll check it out. How's the car holding up? Um, gotta run, Jir. Talk soon. How are we gonna check out that factory without being turned into spicicles? So, what's your plan for getting in, Sam? Pipe problems. Plumbers, we got a call about a leak. There's no leak here. Oh, I guess we do have a leak. Come on in. Thank goodness, we're stupid henchmen. Oh, this is a nasty problem you've got here. My men and me best have a look see. Yeah. Like she said, the he said. Okay, just stay out of the mixing room in the back. It's private. Right. right. Wow! I wonder what flavor that is. <laughs> Toxic. <gasps> oh my. I must 
must have wandered into the wrong place. You gotta get out of here, sir! There's some bad, bad stuff going on here! Bad stuff? Oh dear, we better leave in a jiffy. Sir, not that way! Come with us, we'll get you to safety! Bad. <gasps> bad stuff! <laughs> Old and nasty, huh? You kids today, you're the nasty ones, not me! Hey, you don't see us going around freezing people! No, I see you going around ordering your low fat, low carb, low taste of frozen treats! Your slush ice, watery nothings! <laughs> My family has been making ice cream for four generations, and I'm about to be put out of business because I'm not a trendy or groovy! Actually, nobody really says groovy anymore. But now, I'm gonna get my revenge on all of you Beverly Hills types. And believe me, revenge is a dish that's best served cold! In less than an hour, I'm gonna unleash my frozen wrath on all of Beverly Hills. And you won't be able to stop me! And a nasty liquid by evil madman thing is so 20 years ago. Oh, those were the days. How are you gonna get everyone in Beverly Hills to eat your ice cream? I thought you can't give the stuff away. <laughs> Who said that they have to eat it? Anyone got a plan? Yeah, me. Only 11 more to go. We'll never make it in time. We will if we get some help. Help! They got away! Oh, great! <gasps> Hmm. 
We're still working on the antidote. It seems that the heavy hydrocarbons counteract the freezing effect and turn the stuff back into plain old ice cream. That's all we've got so far. I'll call you the moment I know more. Where are we going to get heavy hydrocarbons at this time of day? I think I know. Alex, where are you going? the red carpet, not the school hallway. Can't a girl just look her best without getting the third degree? <laughs> okay, okay. Today I'm going to talk to Rodney, the new Hunkalicious guy at school. So that's what this is all about. I was up all night getting ready. After all, you only get one chance to make a good first impression. Well, you look great, Clover. Good luck. Who needs luck? So, Rodney, how do you like Bev High so far? Um, do I know you? I sit right behind you in third period biology class. So, um, did you catch the big game last night? No, I was too busy. <sighs> um, I was wondering, um, maybe I don't know. Want to go out with for me a movie sometime? I mean, um, a movie? <laughs> with me? <laughs> Thanks, but I don't think so. I'm late for class. Nice talking to you, Carol. Oh, you didn't even know my name! Ha! Get used to it! Your best simply isn't good enough, Carol! <laughs> I did everything that boys can't 
can't resist, and I got totally resisted. Don't worry about it. He wasn't that cute anyway. Oh, great. So I got shot down by a not cute guy? That's it. Ugh. I'm through with working hard to look good. It's not worth it. Welcome, Super Spies. I trust you enjoyed the ride? Chair, did you ever think of just paging us? Sometimes, but then that would deprive you with the fun of sliding down the tunnel. Hmm. So, Clover, is messy bedhead the newest Beverly Hills trend? Trends come and go. It's just hair. Does it really matter how it looks? Clover's really upset over a guy who rejected her. Hmm. Well, I've got just the thing for you girls. Guaranteed to put a smile on your face. A mission in Paris. <gasps> Whatever. We've been getting reports of bizarre-looking people running around the streets of the fair city. Circus freaks gone wild? Carnivorous underground dwellers? Angry mutants? I don't know. All I can give you is the general location of where the reports are coming from, and of course some gadgets Gladys will supply you with. On this mission, I'm giving you the head for cover hoverboards, hypermagnetic eagle belt buckles, earring communicators, and super inflating roaches. Hmm. So how do these super inflating brooches work? Well, it's rather simple. Just grasp firmly and pull the brooch out. And there you have it. Instant inflation. Too bad the French don't sumo wrestle. These belt buckles are kind of cool. We can actually wear these around Paris. No, Alex, not in here. Who knew there were so many metal things in this office? Luckily, its effects are reversible. <gasps> Thanks. Let's hit it, girls. We've got a case to solve. In Paris! <laughs> Too bad we're on a mission or we could shop all day. Get our hair done at some cool salon. Isn't this awesome, Clover? I suppose it could be worse. I'm a little worried about Clover. Normally, she'd be way psyched about Paris. Hopefully, this mission will be just the thing to take Clover's mind off the, the Rodney incident. Clover, you got a little something on your face. Who cares? It's just a stain. What difference does it make? Ew! Okay, let's split up and investigate. The sooner we get this mission solved, the sooner we can have some fun Paris style. Probably just a false alarm. Well, since nothing else is going on, it's time to visit some boutiques. Shopping! Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. We should look into getting something for Clover's smell. Hmm. Hey, Clover! Wanna go perfume shopping? Hmm? I know how much you love trying out different scents. Oh, it wouldn't make any difference. No guy is going to go out with me no matter what I smell like. Wow, the prices in there must be really scary. I think we found what we're looking for. Come on! <laughs> Let's stop her before she hurts herself. How cute! We definitely have to go to this store. Stop running! We can help you! <laughs> then again, maybe not. It's all right. I think she's just scared or surprised. Hi. It's going to be okay. Just tell us what happened and maybe we can figure something out. It all started when I went to the... <gasps> she's gone. 
time, but she left behind a clue. All it has is a bunch of Moody Beauty brand cosmetics. Moody Beauty, designed exclusively for the beautiful people. It's supposed to make you look happy, pouty, mysterious, whatever emotion you want. It's endorsed by Miss Vanity. Remember her? She used to be a super hot beauty queen. I'll send this makeup to Whoop for analysis. Let's head back to that store and see why she ran out in such a panic. It's closed. Check this out. Miss Vanity's Fair, an open audition for up-and-coming models. I think it's time we pay Miss Vanity a visit and see if she's connected to any of this. And even if she isn't, this could be our big break. <laughs> and you haven't even brushed your hair. Or my teeth, for that matter. Ugh. Silence, girls! Oh, it's Miss Vanity. When Miss Vanity speaks, you listen. Now, line up. Hmm. We'll see if you girls have what it takes to represent Miss Vanity in the fashion world. display. None of you deserves to be a Miss Vanity model. But there is still hope. It's time for a stunning transformation. What on earth is that? Mysterious! Hmm. Talk about an instant makeover. Hmm. Jealous. Bored. I prefer the natural look. Happy! <laughs> Pouty. <laughs> Her look is perfect. She has no need for my cosmetics. Huh? Victorious. Hungry. Sleepy. Irritated. Excited. Snobby. Indifferent. <laughs> Starting to tingle. What is it with this makeup? Oh. Ah! Sam, why are you still smiling? I can't stop. My face is frozen this way. Me too. This makeup has turned us into freaks. Lovely. You all look so Simply lovely. My work here is done. She's trying to escape! She's not getting away with this that is I wish I could wipe off this makeup. I am so not happy with this. You could have fooled me. Okay, according to the tracking device, Miss Vanity is in here somewhere. Oh, uh, this must be the place. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on Miss Vanity. No one makes me look like a pouty sourpuss and gets away with it. Hey, check this out. This is where Miss Vanity manufactures her bizarre makeup. I don't get it. Why would she create cosmetics to make people look unattractive? Let's go find Miss Vanity and ask her. Or maybe she'll find us first. This is just what I need to take out my frustrations.
I don't think my face could take much more. for a bunch of obsessed beauty seekers. That coming from somebody named Miss Vanity. What's your problem anyway? My problem is that I used to be one of the most famous beauty queens in the world. And then, all at once, I was thrown aside by the industry. Well, duh. I mean, look at you. People focus too much on being beautiful. But I'm going to change all that and show everyone the folly of their vain ways. You couldn't handle the end of your career. Maybe you should get a hobby like knitting or something. You'll be unhappy to learn that I have something very special planned for you girls. This giant compact has a spring-based motor that will slowly close the top and create three more victims of vanity. <laughs> now, I'm off to change the world for the better. For a former beauty queen, she really knows how to tie knots. Maybe that's what she did for the talent portion of the competition. No use! This contact spring is too strong! I've got an idea! Now it's your turn! You know, if we didn't have to stop a demented villain, this would be kind of fun! We've got to stop Miss Vanity before she does this to anyone else! I like to add a little color to my pasty British complexion. I tried this new makeup I found lying around the office, but I seem to have reacted in a very bad way. You can say that again. The lab has discovered that the makeup contains DNA from people with different emotional states of mind. So that's how it changes people's appearances. Okay, mystery solved, but Miss Vanity is getting away. We sure could use a bunk, Jer. <sighs> Thanks! And Jerry, try to cheer up! <laughs> you look wonderful, darlings! Those superficial girls never quit. This calls for my special liquid eyeliner. Bring out the color of your eyes. Oh. Oh. You won't leave this ship. Maven's battle stations. That's some high quality concealer. How can we fight when we can't see? Ah. Time to fight makeup with makeup. There they are. Ah. 
Gladys, we need Whoop agents to pick up three wet villains. Impressive. Very impressive. But answer me this one question. Wouldn't you girls like to finish a fight and still have your hair looking its best? Well, behold. Super hold hair brush. Emphasis on the super hold. Just our luck. She's got the economy size. Kiss the frizzies goodbye. Ah! Getting tired. Her aim is way off. Why did I jinx that? Huh? Now what am I going to do? Look on the bright side. You're going to look absolutely fabulous in defeat. <laughs> Looks like the next thing you'll be modeling will be prison gear. smiling all the time. Thanks to this Miss Vanity incident, I think I'll be avoiding makeup for a while. <laughs> uh, dear, never mind Miss Vanity. It might be a good idea if you stay away from makeup forever. You might have a point. One thing I don't get, why do we smell so raunchy? The lab found that only a garlic and cabbage facial scrub could reverse the effects of Miss Vanity's makeup. That's a small price to pay for getting rid of Miss Vanity's makeup. Whatever. It doesn't matter what I smell or look like. Clover? I hardly recognized you. Wow. You have the same haircut as my girlfriend back home. Well, gotta run. See you in class. So it wasn't my looks. He rejected me because he has a girlfriend. Yeah, but with a look like that, you better get used to rejection. Unless you join the circus. <laughs> oh, how did I slip so far? Started with your hair, then you stop brushing your teeth, then never mind. I'm off to the groove for a total makeup makeover shopping spree. Thrusters engaged, proceeding at an angle of... Hey, man, what the heck is... Centauris. I can't wait to sing this at Kooka Karaoke, the group's new karaoke hotspot. Attention, students, this is Principal Vegan. I wonder who's in trouble this time. Sam, please report to my office immediately, thank you. <laughs> Sam? You've never been in trouble in your whole life. There must be some mistake. 
It's no mistake. Have you seen your latest test scores? If this is about the A minus on my geometry test, I only missed question five because my pencil broke. Sam, your scores are the best in Bev High history. So she's not in trouble? Heavens no. Your scores, on the other hand, uh... Hello, focus, we're talking about Sam here. Right, well, Sam, we've literally run out of things to teach you, so you can graduate anytime you want. Uh, how's next Wednesday, let's say three-ish? Graduate? But, but, but I'm not ready. I haven't even written my valedictory speech yet. No time for that. You should be concentrating on picking a college. College? Uh, Principal Vegan, I, I need to think about this. Well, the deadline for college applications is right around the corner, so don't think about it for too long. Can you imagine me as a college girl? Oh, don't do it, Sammy! We'd miss you way too much! You can't leave us here alone! I mean, we'll have to deal with Mandy all by ourselves! Oh, no more Mandy! Sam, sorry. You gotta admit, being Mandy-free is tempting. Speaking of tempting... Uh, excuse me, did I hear you say you're going off to college? Yes! I mean, maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, you'll love it. I got so many friends in college. But it's a uh, pity you're leaving before we uh, got to know each other. Well, I'm free from now till college. Great. I'll call you. Okay, hey. Okay. Chad never dates anybody from Bev High. Oh. Sammy, you've just graduated to a whole new level of coolness. I'll bet getting woke out of college won't be so easy! This better be important, Jer, because we're in, like, total crisis mode here! Another broken nail, no doubt. Now, I'm not sure I can top that, but your next mission is quite important indeed. You see, a popular music group has gone missing in outer space. Yawn! Probably just a lame publicity stunt. I believe they call themselves the Alpha Centauris? The Alpha, Alpha Centauris? I take it you know them. They're only like the greatest band in the entire history of this week. They were on their way to the moon to do the first lunar concert broadcast. Communication <laughs> broke off hours ago. This was their final transmission. Oh no! The Alpha Centauris were kidnapped by evil aliens! They want to drain their brains of all their amazing talent and incredible fashion sense. Overreact much? It's probably just a malfunctioning circuit board. Whatever it is, we need to regain contact and find out. We're going to outer space? But not without some very special space gadgets. Don't go anywhere without your very own designer space suits. Cool. Also, heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses, net throwing extendable rod mascara, and the new Moon Buggy 5000. <laughs> Bon voyage, super spies, and be careful! Jerry, we're always careful- <laughs> for the exceptionally gifted. Wow, this technical school has a 10 to 1 ratio of guys to girls. Of geeks to girls, you mean? And this coastal college schedules classes around lunar tides for the best surfing. Look out! Activating space brakes! <gasps> it's the Alpha Centauri's tour spaceship! But where are the Alpha Centauri's? Centauris. Ziggy! Oh. They're out there.
there, and we're gonna find them. It's the evil aliens! Put your helmets in super tape mode! Oh. I still can't see where the light's coming from! Let's split! me and my buds. Supernova and Black Hole? I cut loose, but they're still trapped. Not for long. The place they took us is in that big crater over there. Ziggy, when you released Lunar Love Songs, I locked myself in my room and listened to it over and over for a week. When your Galaxy Girl music video came out, I wallpapered my whole bedroom with your poster. Well, as a college girl, I can appreciate not only your danceable beat and magnetic stage presence, but also the poetic subtlety of your lyrics. There it is! You stay here until it's safe. You guys are my biggest fans. <sighs> It seems to be man-made. Man-made? Then who made it? And what is it? Oh, oh no! Sorry, guys! Hey, settle down! Pop stars are so high maintenance. Two. What's going on, man? 
What's going on, as in on stage, is me. In 53 minutes, you guys, my former bandmates, will be taking a one-way trip to the sun. <laughs> it wasn't evil aliens after all. It was you. Oh, I get it. This is all part of your next big music video, right? You save your band and your three biggest fans from a big, scaly robot. But, um, where are the cameras? The cameras are down on the moon, ready to broadcast my solo concert to millions of fans on Earth. Don't tell me you plan on doing that dumb space opera you've been dreaming of. It's not dumb. If I stuck with you two, the band would probably burn out in three years. But my space opera is timeless, and it's you who will burn out in three minutes. You'll never get away with this. Yeah, I mean, who's going to play guitar and drums? I will. No, thanks. The RockBot 3000 plays guitar, drums, keyboards, and bass. It even doubles as a road manager, vocal coach, and stylist. Hey, put those down! What do you think, RockBot? <laughs> You're right. Too mod. <laughs> Have a great trip! <laughs> Laser stage show. Wow, you chicks are smart. It sure pays to be a college girl. Now to power up the ship again. Maybe we can trap the photons from the solar flares or use gravity to slingshot the ship around the sun. Or just turn on the ignition. And I'm not even a college girl.
another lead singer. Sure, Sam. Huh? But you said... That was when you were a college girl. Now you're staying in high school. Sorry, but I don't date high school girls. But I'm as smart as any college girl, and I plan to go to college really, really soon. I'm sophisticated. I really am. We get 
give you a 10 for ingenuity, originality, and green awareness. Congratulations to the first prize winner of the Beverly Hills High Science Fair. Wow, this would be so cool if it wasn't so tragically uncool. Gee, I don't know what to say. Um, I want to thank my- Daddy, we love you. You're a genius. Busy chasing hotties, no doubt. As if! More like being chased by naughties. Perhaps a special mission will invigorate you properly. A special mission? Your assignment is to keep an eye on Kyle Katz, a most devious jewel thief. So devious, in fact, that Whoop has never once caught him. If you've never caught him, how do you know he's a criminal? He's the prime suspect in countless jewel heists, but he slipped through our fingers every time. I believe, though, he's up to something again. According to my research, Kyle Katz only works when there's a new moon and the Earth is aligned with Venus, ensuring total darkness. This astronomical phenomenon will occur in four short days. The Earth will be aligned with Venus? Sweet. My horoscope says that that's the perfect time for romance. I'm afraid romance is out of the question, Clover. Kyle Katz has been known to compromise many a lady's good judgment. Jerry, we're professionals. We would never let our personal feelings interfere with our jobs, even if... <gasps> He's gorgeous! <sighs> now that's what I call a hottie. Spies? Spies! <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your gadgets. Let's stock up for the stakeout, spies. Lipstick, microphone camera, Emory contact lenses and aquamarine, the stylish way to see through metal, and a new multi-directional magnetic ring. Kyle's gonna love me with this. <laughs> when I use it to catch him, I mean. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> doing? He's either breaking into a safe or making dinner. Making dinner? Maybe we can nab him for eating too much junk food. Junk food? More like hunk food. <sighs> <laughs> another text message and another photo. Thank you for being you, Waldo. That's the 200th one today. Oh, now you can see Waldo's face every time you use your phone. Ugh, I wish I'd never entered that science fair. Just thinking about it makes me... Hungry? <laughs> you must be starving sitting out here all night. For Sam, chocolate chip. For Clover, poppy seed. And for Alex, all natural bran. How does he know our favorites? Just come on up if you want anything else. I can't believe he blew our cover so quickly. But it was so worth it. <gasps> no! Hey, you got your own muffin. It might not be safe. Kyle would never try to hurt us. He's a nice boy who spends his nights begging <laughs> and tearing up the streets. <laughs>
really extreme. <laughs> Photos of Beverly Hills. He's so artistic and hot. I better get a picture. I'm already getting surveillance shots for Woo Clover. Hello. This is for like my own personal use. Oh. Status report, spies. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Following around a totally cool, totally innocent guy. Yeah. He's just out for a leisurely night of hang gliding and nature photography. Maintain your surveillance. Somehow, I think he's interested in more down there than just the California spotted owl. Get your Sammy t-shirt! Each one comes with a piece of her award-winning science project! She's even beautiful upside down. All hail Sam! All hail Sam! is touching their bodies. Ugh. Arnold, what are you doing? That is my face. <gasps> there she is. All oh, hail Sam. All oh, hail Sam. Oh, Look, hail Sam. it's the newly crowned oh, queen of the geeks. Oh, Your subjects are calling you. <laughs> About it. Good news, spies. Thanks to a tuxedo rental receipt spotted in one of your photos, we've discovered Kat will be attending tonight's gala reception for Georgi Georgovich, the new ambassador from Spekistan. Kyle has such an exciting life. And I want you all to be there. <laughs> I needn't remind you, you're going there to keep watch on cats, not to dance the night away. Don't worry, Jer. We are super spies. I won't even know we're there. I am so where I belong. Anybody see Kyle? May I have this dance? <sighs> I'd love to. something for you. For me? Doesn't she know that necklace is probably stolen? I wish she'd steal one from me. You are by far the belle of the ball. Lovely dance. Oh, you let him get away? Yeah, I wanted to dance with him. Have you two, like, totally lost it? We're supposed to be watching him. I could barely take my eyes off of him. You're just jealous because he didn't pick you. <laughs> jealous? Why? Because he's handsome and dashing and a great dancer and... I'm the one who took tango lessons. That necklace should be mine. Don't you dare! I 
Jer. Never in all my years. You've disgraced yourselves and Whoop as well. Oh. Clover? Thanks, dear. Huh? The necklace. Oh. A Whoop agent wearing contraband. Oh. I was just holding on to it for safekeeping. Well, while you were out keeping Katz's stolen loot safe, Whoop has discovered his plans for his next big heist, the Great Pearl of Spekistan. Hey, that's where that ambassador's from. He's taking the Great Pearl on a goodwill tour around the country. It's presently housed in the Beverly Hills Antiquity Center, which our lab detected Katz was photographing the other night. He was planning a heist the whole time we were watching him? Indeed. <clears throat> And now the ambassador has reported he's lost the key to the pearl safe. The question is, how did Katz get close enough to the ambassador to steal his key? There's no way Kyle stole the key. I was with him the whole... <gasps> Wait a minute. My MMR has been activated and I didn't activate it. Oops. Katz has already stolen nearly all the most valuable jewels in the world. The Great Pearl of Spekistan is the most precious of all. If we don't catch him in the act this time, we may never get another chance. Chasing you. <laughs> I wouldn't try to get out if I were you. Even if you manage to open the lock, one turn of the handle will let loose the chains. But then, somebody has to take the fall. <laughs> ah! It's too dark in here. I can't see myself think. We could swing the safe over to the third story platform. Maybe if I use my multi directional magnetic ring, there's a metal pillar right there.
Ladies, you are as clever as you are beautiful. What? Jerry hired me to challenge you at every level, and you've passed the test. We did? Hooray! <laughs> so if you could just help me up, I'll be on my way. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna have to find yourself a new dance partner. <laughs> So you turned Carl Katz's magnetic attraction against him. Well done, spies. Like they say, you can't judge a book by its cover, even a really hot, hunky book. And to think, we almost let such a jerk come between us. Girls! <laughs> Till we meet again. <gasps> Teenagers. Oh no! There's a gaggle of geeks at 12 o'clock. Just remember, I am Ingeborg, the foreign exchange student, not Sam, queen of the geeks. Oh, oh hail Priscilla! Oh, oh hail Priscilla! Priscilla's t-shirts are selling out twice as fast as yours. Who's Priscilla? Who's Priscilla? Only the smartest, brainiest girl around. She won the state science fair, the chess club championship, and the Destructo Robot Smackdown. And she's beautiful. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's me, Sammy, your queen. I'm really smart too, remember? Let me sign your t-shirt, please. Oh, oh hell, Priscilla. Priscilla. showed up unannounced and discovered that we're spies, which was totally uncool. And Mandy and her friends started acting like completely wacky for no apparent reason, wearing tacky camo and trying to take us out and stuff. Then we realized that it was because of the suds that we took from the totally weird, totally evil baddie and accidentally spilled in our hot tub. Anyway, Mandy stole our moms. And even though they've forbidden us from doing any more spying, we totally can't help it, because it's what we were born to do. Yeah. <laughs> There's gotta be something around here to help us figure out where Mandy took our moms. You mean something like that? Hmm? It's a brochure for the Sugar Flake Ski Resort. That's it! That's what? That's gotta be where Mandy's headed. Her parents just built her a she-she new chalet there. <gasps> You're right! She's been bragging about that place for months, trying to make everyone jealous. Totally worked on me. <laughs> If that's true, then why would she leave this behind? It'll lead us right to her. Because she's incredibly lame? Or she might be trying to set us up, which means we better be careful. In that case, maybe we should call in reinforcements. And I know just the 60-something semi-balding man for the job. <laughs> Unfortunately, he still hasn't given us his number. <laughs> Talk about being stingy with the digits. Looks like we'll be stopping by Whoop in person. Now remember, Gladys, we've lost our top spies. We must replace them with equally qualified recruits. How about those two? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going in. <laughs> yeah. uh, excuse me, boys. I was wondering if you could answer a question. Sure, Gramps. Fire away. If you had to choose between climbing an icy summit blindfolded, traversing the ocean in a deflating lifeboat, or halting a locomotive with your bare hands, which would you prefer to do? Uh, Ah, uh, we prefer to go home and play video games. Later! <laughs> oh. Apparently, they don't possess the spy gene. I'm beginning to think finding competent replacements for Sam, Clover, and Alex is going to be a bigger chore than expected. <laughs> Looks an awful lot 
not like a luxury ski resort. Duh! We've got to be here too, you know. Now, let's see how long it takes the spies to try and save their mommies. And when they do, we'll be waiting for them. <laughs> I mean, just because we hit a temporary snag with the rents doesn't mean we're banned from the building. Access denied. Hmm. Access denied. Okay, I know I'm tired from being up all night worrying about my mom, but there's no way I'm typing in the wrong code. Here, let me try mine. Access denied. Okay, not what I expected. Let me give it a shot. After all, Gladys always did like me best. <laughs> Denied. Oh, yeah. She adores you. Okay, enough games, Gladys. You need to stop goofing around and let us in right now. Sorry, you are no longer authorized whoop agents. I can't let you inside. So much for the whole once a spy, always a spy thingy. Mm. You gotta listen to us, Gladys. It's an emergency. Yeah, Mandy kidnapped our moms and we need to speak to Jerry on the door. Jerry is currently out of the office. The only way to see him is to make an appointment. Fine, we'll take his next available. Sorry, only agents are allowed to make an appointment. Have a nice day. Oh, great. What are we going to do now? Hmm. I know. I'll write Jerry a letter and tell him what's happened. Awesome! After all, I did promise Jerry we'd write. Uh, newsflash, girls! Snail mail is, like, seriously prehistoric, as in it'll take days to get that thing to Jer. Not if I send it air mail. That's a brilliant idea! <laughs> Only, how are you gonna get it all the way up to Jerry's office? Hmm. Easy. I'm gonna deliver it myself. wheel at the Bev Hill Street Fair, and I totally tossed my... Hey, guys! I think I'd be a lot more confident if you were quieter. Right! Sorry! Phew! Here goes nothing. show on the road. And if we're gonna go after Mandy and save our moms, we'll need some sort of gadgets to take them out with. But with Gladys giving us the icy cold robo shoulder, where are we gonna get our gadgets from? I know just the place. Beverly Hills has a hardware store? Yep. Even the rich and famous are do-it-yourselfers sometimes. Speaking of doing it yourself, let's roll. Who needs an expandable cable bungee belt when you've got a garden hose? Low rent, no shoeing anyone? These are bound to come in handy somehow. And of course, what spy would be complete without her fancy outfit? Awesome! I know! Now, let's go find our mom. One on one random recruitment approach didn't work out. Perhaps I ought to try something new. But what? I know! I'll place a classified advertisement. 
Do you enjoy danger? Do you seek a life of covert thrills? Then Woot has the perfect opportunity for you. Hmm. Gladys, how many times have I told you? If you want to practice origami, do it on your own time. That isn't my handiwork, Jerry. What? Oh my goodness, it's a note. From the girls. Dear Jerry, Mandy and her two friends were turned into evil spy assassins when we accidentally dropped the inventor's suds into her hot tub. Now they've kidnapped our mothers and taken them to Mandy's Sugar Flake Ski Chalet. Please help. Sincerely, Sam, Clover, and Alex. Gladys, prepare the chopper. I've got to help them right away. <laughs> This resort is so hot. I'm surprised all the snow doesn't melt. But where do we even begin looking? Mandy could have hidden our mothers anywhere around here. Why don't we start by looking in Mandy's chalet? But how can we be sure that that's Mandy's place? Duh! That giant M clearly doesn't stand for modesty. A little too easy. We better keep a low profile. Mandy may be setting a trap. If she is, it'll be the poshest trap I ever fell for. Let's hit it. Here's the plan. You guys go around to the side windows, and I'll use the can opener to unlock the back door. See you, See you inside. inside! That was our mother's! But I don't think it came from inside! Quick! Strap on the badminton racket snowshoes! Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Okay, I'm catching 
a mega hostile vibe here. What's wrong? What's wrong is that we told you that this spy business was strictly off lip. Then the moment we leave you alone, you go right back to your old ways. I guess we thought that only applied to non-life-threatening situations. Yeah, we just totally saved you guys. But if you weren't spies in the first place, you wouldn't have to be saving us. Hey, what gives? We're locked in. So far, this rescue attempt isn't one for the highlight reel. Oh, I knew we should have gotten some sort of prime gadget at the hardware store. No lame gadget is gonna save you now, spies. <gasps> I'm in control now, losers. <laughs> Sam, you were right. It is a trap. All right, I've only known this Mandy person for a few hours, but she seems to have a real attitude problem. You don't know the half of it. So long, spies. Enjoy the ride. What are we going to do now? The side smash into whatever stolen objects at the end of this table? are awesome! You really mean it? Absolutely. And you work so beautifully together, like a well-oiled spy machine. Well, truth be told, we're actually super spies. <gasps>
better go round them up before they freeze solid. Or we could do it right after. <gasps> They've already apprehended those nasty villains. You really should lock that Mandy girl up for a long, long time, Harry. It's Jerry. moment to reflect on the life-changing journey you are about to embark on. <clears throat> the seeds of knowledge that you plant today have the potential to yield a great harvest in years to come. And as the fruits of your labors nourish the body and soul Planting the of seeds of collegiate success? Is he serious? I don't know, but I want football games and fun parties. you boring farm metaphors. I'm with ya! I can last one out of the jets of Rotten Egg! Boutique Mall and a private Luau Beach. Not to mention the cutting edge internet cafe and a seriously convenient mini tram system. <gasps> there it is, girls! West Coast Hall, our new home sweet home. Then our tour is officially over. Uh, better make that tour a detour. <laughs> 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 gonna turn out to be a tragedy. That doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, where's the stylish three-person digs we were promised? I don't know, but this place reminds me of the Whoop holding facility. Yeah, only not quite as glamorous. Uh, guys, glamour is the least of what's missing from this place. Where's all my stuff? It's in here, Sam. Hi, I'm Stacy, your new roomie. What? what? You be Sam's roommate. We're her best friends. And, like, we're all supposed to be rooming together. Oh, sorry, but there's a huge housing crunch on campus. So Sam's stuff was put in my room. And from what I've seen, I think we're gonna get along great. You unpacked my things? Yeah, and judging by all the books I found, I'm convinced we have a ton in common. You see, Sam, I'm an academic just like you. <laughs> wow, Sammy. I wish my roommate was that helpful. Oh, 
please. You'd need about 10 helpful roommates to unpack all your stuff, Clover. What do you say I give you a campus tour? I'm a sophomore and I know all the shortcuts and hidden passages. Uh, sounds great, Stacy, but we still have to sign up for classes. I'll catch you later. <laughs> How come I'm the one stuck with the nosy roommate? She's not nosy, Sam. Just eager. Besides, we've gotten out of tight spots before. We can totally handle a temporary housing sitch. And in the meantime, we'll be right across the hall if you need us. <gasps> Check it out! I got the last seat in Psychology 101. It's like the academic version of a dating service. Oh, and I got into intro to basket weaving. I can finally get in touch with my artistic side. And I got into all of my advanced courses, including quantum macro physics. Uh, Sam, doesn't that class start in two minutes? Uh, you're right. Let's begin with a rudimentary question. What is the name of the attractive force which acts between two close parallel uncharged conducting plates? Uh, Ling. Uh, Ling Yi. Apparently, Ms. Yi doesn't get the concept of mandatory attendance. Okay, then, uh, how about uh, Stacy? <gasps> it's called. Um. It's called. It's called the Casimir effect, due to quantum vacuum fluctuations of the electromagnetic field. Very good, uh, Samantha. Looks like someone did her homework. Thanks a lot, Sam. You did that just to make me look bad. No, I didn't. I was trying to help. Well, I don't need your help. In fact, I don't ever want to talk to you again. <laughs> Be the first to wax my board. Welcome to Surfology 101. Today we're going to learn about the anatomy of a wave. So, does this like mean we aren't going in the water? Well, not until we learn the basics. I don't want basics. I want fun, sun, and good times 101. Just like it was promised in the Malu course catalog. In that case, why don't you show me an atomic roll into the green room, followed by a nose walk and a triple cutback? Oh, on second thought? The basics sound totally tubular. Chop, chop. You're being graded on this. <laughs> the secret to successful basket weaving students is to become one with your creation. Now close your eyes and let yourself get completely enveloped in your work. Completely enveloped. Got it. Huh? That's a little too enveloped. Oopsie. Phew, college is so exhausting. Maybe I ought to stop by the internet cafe for a brain fueling latte. Help! Somebody help me! Guess my latte will have to wait. <laughs> wearing Today in class, she is way more Miss Hyde. Uh, look, Sammy, I realize Stacy may not be the ideal roommate, but don't you think your accusations are a bit far-fetched? As in, you may be having difficulty adjusting to new people. I mean, think about it. Anyone could have dropped the scrunchie. In fact, it could be one of mine. <sighs> Fine, don't believe me, but I know there is something strange going on, and I'm gonna figure out exactly what it is.
clear, which means it's officially spy time. <laughs> of Mally Yu's top five incoming freshmen, starting with Wing B. Hey, that's the missing student from my physics class. Huh? Acranium Dranium? Okay, that definitely qualifies as strange. Hey, Rumi, how's it going? Fine, I guess. Well, I'm awesome. On account of the A+, plus, I just got on my bit lip paper. So, do you want to join me in a celebratory study sesh? Um, maybe later. I was just about to take a shower. <laughs> Even if Clover and Alex don't believe me, I have to call Jerry. This is getting way weird. <laughs> and it just got even weirder. <laughs> Great. In addition to having a defective roommate, I also have defective plumbing. Whoa. Stacy was up to something, but I never could have guessed she'd do anything this bizarre. Huh? Wait a second. You're all the students from Stacy's list. What is she doing to me? Tapping into your information rich brainwaves and preparing for a transfer of knowledge. I don't know what kind of crazy plan you cooked up, but you have to turn this machine off and set these students free. Or get it. This is my ticket to a perfect GPA. Last year I studied my butt off, but there were too many smart students. So I decided if you can't beat up, join them. Or better yet, make them join you. Or you could just try studying a little bit harder. Why study at all when I have you guys cramming for me? In fact, I have a couple of homework assignments due tomorrow. Time to show me what you know. Feels like an A-plus to me. Thanks for the study sesh, guys. Oh, and save your energy. We have a term paper due on Friday. Save what energy? Huh? What are you two doing here? Checking in on Sam. And hello to you, too. Well, she isn't here. So, good night. I've got to study. Uh, well, do you know where she is? Probably goofing off like all the other students at Mally who take basket weaving and surfology classes. Oh. <gasps> hey! Those classes are a lot harder than you think! <gasps> hey! Where'd you get that scrunchie? It's mine! Uh. <gasps> Rude much? Sam was right about Stacy. She's a total nightmare. I have a really bad feeling about this. We better call Jerry right away! <gasps> Hello, girls. Just checking to see if any of my words of wisdom have guided you in your academic endeavors. Uh, no, Jerry, not even slightly. But if you really want to help, you can whoop us right away. Oh, very well. Jeez, all that wisdom, and you still haven't figured out how to soften our whoop landings, Jer. So, what seems to be the problem? Books, speakers, boys? Who has time for boy problems? Sam's missing, and we think her evil roommate has something to do with it. I see. Well, Sam may be missing, but her ex powder isn't. Is that cute little blip on the screen Sammy? Indeed. And it appears she's located in the basement of your dorm. What would Sam be doing in the basement? Probably hiding from that heinous roommate of hers. Whatever Sam's engaged in, it's wreaking havoc on her physiological systems. Her brain is functioning at a dangerously slow rate. How can you possibly know that, Jerry? All X powders are equipped with a capacity to monitor the owner's biofunction. Hello? Is there a single aspect of our lives you're not totally trespassing on? Mm, actually, no. <gasps> Come on, Jer. Lay some gadgets on it so we can go help Sam. Uh. <laughs> Whoa, old school much. What happened to Gladys? Let's just say her bossy ways landed her an extended vacation at the Whoop Recycling Facility. Now, here's the hot and spicy gum, the drill heel boot, and the ultra-fast hardening enamel toenail polish. Ooh, glittery aqua blue. A classic. Ta-ta, and good luck, spies. Ah! Oh, oh, 
whacked my chair again! <gasps> I think that door leads to the basement. Come on! Wait. We better take a less obvious route. After all, you never know where that loon Stacy might be lurking. <laughs> I love these boots, but they should really come with a feather duster. <gasps> what is that thing? Oh, it's Sam! Are you okay? Sammy, say something! Now we know what you're meant by slow brain function. We have to get her out of here before it's too late. Uh, yeah. Ow. Sorry, freshman, but I can't let you do that. Figures you're the one behind all this. Why? Because such an elaborate plan involving sophisticated machinery could only be the work of a genius like myself? No, because Sam warned us that you were one seriously wacky chick! <laughs> nice try, but I already had my weekly facial. Now it's time for us to give you a little treatment. And I don't mean the small kind. <laughs> Not if my mechanical friend has anything to say about it. can help elevate my GPA. So I decided to drop you from the Malibu roster. All right, we've known you for like less than a day, and that's about the tenth time you've insulted us. It's getting really old. You won't have to worry about it much longer. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to continue my search for superior minds. Later, losers! <laughs> Before we save anyone else, we could get our hands on a gadget. Any gadget! Hey! I got one! With a hot and spicy gum! Okay, let me rephrase. Any gadget except that one. The last thing we need to do is turn the heat up any higher. <laughs> Might as well enjoy it. It's probably the last piece of gum I'll ever get to chew. Clear! The gum worked! I sweated my way to freedom! Cool. I mean, hot. Now sweat your way over here and spring me before I'm toast. Come on. We better catch Stacy before she hijacks all of Sam's smarts. <laughs> Where do all the smart people hang out? The library, of course. Good math with poor science skills. <gasps> now that's what I'm talking about, the total academic package. <laughs> Where could she have gone? It's not like it's easy to blend in riding that machine. If these missions have taught me anything, it's that whenever you're in doubt, follow the screams. Emeritus of Pro Magnum Man's dental hygiene habits. Talk about a major egghead. Oh well, you never know when you might need a specialist. <laughs> you two again. Maybe I underestimated you after all. You better believe you did, Great Grubber. You're just jealous because I'm naturally gifted and you're not. Hey! Uh, reality check? There's nothing remotely natural about where your smarts come from. <laughs> Okay, that was not 
Ladies, you'll be pleased to know that everyone's brains have been restored to their prior states. Minus the memories of what happened here, of course. Oh, that's a relief. I mean, who ever heard of going to college and getting dumber? So, Sam, now that you're back to being the smarty pants we all know and love, how about helping me with my homework? Uh, no thanks. <gasps> my newly recharged brain cells need a little R&R. &R. It's just as well. No amount of tutoring can keep me from being an embarrassment in surfing class. Oh, tell me about it. I'm known as the basket case of basket weaving. Who knew college was so complicated? Speaking of complicated, we still haven't solved our housing crisis. Well, we better do it fast, because I'm getting claustrophobic just thinking about that tiny dorm room. Kooky roommates and cramped living spaces will no longer be a concern for you girls. I've arranged for the three of you to live together in the penthouse of your dorm. Penthouse? Since when does West Coast Hall have a penthouse? Since the Woo Prop Department built one last night. Come on, let's take a tour, shall we? Check out this killer buff boy watching Ocean View! Oh, this place has everything our beach house had and more! But the best feature is what it doesn't have. Nutso roommates. Yeah! So, I take it this living arrangement is to your liking? <laughs> to our liking? More like to our loving! Thanks, dear! You're very welcome. <clears throat> From here, you'll be able to plant the seeds of knowledge. Jerry, no more agricultural advice. Give it a rest. Just leave before we have to call the RA. <laughs> After 30 years, the Third Street Bank is once again open for business. Looks like it's time to finish the job. Okay, Grandma. Time to go to your new maximum security home. The kind you'll never leave. We'll just see about that. University Clover, keyword being university. What good are good grades when you're all tasty? Trust me, Sam, a tan co ed is a happy co ed. Oh, and a co ed who doesn't fail first semester is an ecstatic co ed. Whatever, I'm so not worried. You're looking at the master of the last minute study set. <laughs> Hello, can't you like see I'm doing some important cramming on my tan lines here? I mean, hi there. I'm Clover. What's your major? The name's Blaine, captain of the Malibu Beach Volleyball Team. Hey! So, Blaine, what do you like to do for fun when you're not hitting the sand? Coach says if I spend half as much time practicing as I do on shoe shopping, <laughs> hanging at coffee cafes, and watching romantic comedies, I'd probably go pro someday. <laughs> Forget, Coach. I think you sound perfect. Oh, I, I mean, perfectly well-rounded. You know, with a lot of interesting <laughs> interests. Hmm, I should really get back to practice, but would it be okay if I, you know, got your number? <gasps> Whoa. Call me! <laughs> Whoa, that was way weird. Yeah, it was like being in a parallel universe with a male clover. A total hottie who likes everything I do. I can hardly believe it myself. In fact, I can't think of one thing that could spoil our soon-to-be relationship. I'm beginning to think there's some evil conspiracy to prevent me from getting a tan. No conspiracy, Clover. Just a highly treacherous mission. You three are to escort an extremely dangerous criminal from Whoop's containment facility to our highest security penitentiary. If the criminal is so dangerous, why didn't you just put them in the penitentiary in the first place? Um, with the recent deluge of criminal masterminds, Whoop has been experiencing a little overcrowding as of late. Mm, exactly how dangerous is dangerous? Yeah, I may have an important date tonight, and I'd like to be around to enjoy it. Spies, meet the granny. That's the dangerous criminal mastermind? <laughs> What's she guilty of? Keeping her world-famous <laughs> cupcake recipe secret. 
Hmm. Aw, she totally reminds me of my own granny. I should give Nana a call. I miss her. Don't let looks fool you. The granny was one of the most notorious and ruthless bank robbers of her generation. Keyword being was. For your mission, you'll need the ultra-inflatable nylon tech vests, jet backpacks, infrared motion detector sunglasses, and the pressure inversion snow spray. It's like hairspray, only much colder. No! <laughs> I doubt we need all this fancy stuff, Jer. After all, the granny is in her 80s. Sam's right. If we can't outrun a woman in big padded shoes, we should just give up now. I assure you, the granny is very cunning, so please be extra cautious. Your new vehicle should help. Awesome! It has a titanium shell for protection against baddies and a hover feature for quick getaways. Not to mention shock absorbers for perfect lip gloss application no matter what the road conditions. A girl's gotta have her priorities. I'll drive. Shotgun! <laughs> hey, I know that smell anywhere. Crispy on the outside. And chewy in the middle. If cinnamon's your fave, have a snickerdoodle. Ugh. Ah! Ouch! What'd you do that for, Sammy? Didn't your mother teach you to never take a snickerdoodle from a stranger? Relax, sweetie. They were baked with love in Whoop's containment facility. The only thing I was able to sneak in was real butter. Real butter? <laughs> that is a crime! If I had your beauty and metabolism, dear, I'd eat an entire container every day. You must have all the boys after you. Not all the boys. <laughs> Just most. Remember, girls, Jer warned us not to fall for her totally transparent act. And you're obviously the brains of the group. With intelligence and insight like that, you must outsmart all the criminals. <laughs> well, not all the criminals, just most. Now, who's ready for a cookie? Mm -hmm. mm. It's like a little taste of butter-infused heaven. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh, that is so good! Cha, they totally melt in your mouth! So, what do you say we get this show on the road? You don't want to keep the nice folks at Whoop waiting! <laughs> Security whoop pin should be coming up on the right. Nip on, pearl tool, and presto! Just a little something to remember me by. What's it for? Why, it's a cozy for your ex powder, dear. Oh, how did you know purple is my fave color? Call it a grandmother's intuition. Can I have another snickerdoodle? <laughs> oh, dear. Now you've got crumbs all over that cute suit of yours. Restraints chafing you? No, dear, just my stiff joints flaring up again. Would you mind loosening them just a smidge? Hmm. I guess a smidge couldn't hurt. <laughs> it's not like you're going anywhere, right? And miss all this girl talk? I haven't had this much fun in years. <laughs> <laughs> Jer and fess up to our mistake. <sighs> Where are you girls? The Whoop Penitentiary is still awaiting your arrival. Listen, Jer, um, we have something we 
need to tell you. The granny kind of overpowered us with her knitting needles and then mm. took off in the whoop vehicle. Oh my, I was afraid something like this might happen. I warned you, the granny is extremely cunning. Oh. Don't worry, Jer. We're on that baddie like Clover at a 50% off shoe sale. Good, because she'll be up to her old bank robbing tricks the first chance she gets. Let's just hope these tracks hold up. Why bother with tracks when you can follow the vehicle's tracking system instead? Great thinking, Clover. Now let's hit it. <laughs> Clover? Where are you? It sounds like you're in some kind of wind tunnel. That's just my new, um, uh, windy ringtone you like. How can it be your new ringtone when we're already on the phone? Well, uh, what I meant to say is that I'm in the, um, Malibu Skydiving Club. <laughs> Adrenaline's such a rush. Guess you're too busy to grab a coffee then? Not a chance. See you at the Malibu Cafe at three. Ooh, girls, I think I'm in love. Until just now. Oh, the new winter line's just in. A quick peruse couldn't hurt. Oh, okay, first we nab the granny, then you can shop till you drop. Come out with your snicker diddles up. Wow, that old gal can really move. I just hope I'm in as good shape at her age. It's fitting we're in a dead end alley because we are so dead when Jer gets wind of this. Bingo. Okay, you're not gonna believe this, but it looks like the granny scaled that wall. They say power yoga can keep you young well into your 80s. <gasps> the Sunny Lane Retirement Home? What would a notorious bank robber be doing here? Only one way to find out. I'm with ya. After we put on disguises, of course. That's a good look for you. <laughs> yeah, laugh all you want, but Jerk totally owes me an aromatherapy facial for this. <laughs> so, which of you lovely ladies would care to play around the bridge? <laughs> That's you two. I can guarantee he's not talking to me. We're north and south, and they're east and west. So, who wants to cut the deck? But we don't even know how to play. <laughs> But I think you've just been trumped. Not so fast, Granny. I'll accept what you think, Siri. Don't worry. Thanks to the shoe's excessive padding, it doesn't hurt a bit. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? Gonna be when he finds out the granny outsmarted us twice. If she outsmarted us, then how come she left behind a clue? Check it out, girls. All these bills are made out to Papa. Papa? Hardly seems like a baddie's name. Well, he served 15 years for one of the most notorious bank heists in British history. So Papa and the granny were a bank robbing super team? More like a super trio. Just like us. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt but there's been another escape from a state-run minimum security prison. The escapee is also in her 80s. That must be the other woman from the photo. <gasps> the granny's rounding up her former gang. And my guess is they're planning something ginormous. Thanks, Al. That totally narrows it down. I'm afraid it is a bit vague. Until we have more to go on, you three should return to school. Awesome! Now I'll totally be on time for my date with Blaine. <laughs> Glad I could help. They say the right clothes can make you look years younger. Yeah, about 60 years younger. Oh no! My ex powder has gone all frenzy! No, no! I think there's anywhere else but here! Clover? 
Is that you? Hey there, Blaine. Oh, is that a vanilla no foam soy latte? <laughs> when you said let's meet for coffee, I had no idea we were supposed to dress up. Oh, this. <laughs> Let me explain. I'm uh, trying out for the lead in a play. The way weird odd couple. <laughs> cool. I didn't know you liked the theater. <laughs> Neither did I. 30 years ago today, a team of notorious bank robbers targeted this very bank. But their efforts were thwarted by law enforcement. All that's ancient history, though, as the Third Street Bank is once again open for business. Hmm. Is it me, or is the Granny's plan suddenly not so vague anymore? Yeah. Looks like she and her posse have some unfinished business with the Third Street Bank. Sorry to interrupt, but we've got a jet. You know how Granny hates to wait. Sorry to drink a dash, Blaine. Promise to make it up to you. I totally understand, Clover. You've got to visit your granny. We'll do something tomorrow. Girls, now I know I am in love. Thank you. Hi there. What can I do for you today? Actually, dearie, how about we see what I can do instead? What's going on? This is a stick-up. I'm in the air where I can see him. What's the matter, Sonny? You having trouble believing an old lady can rob a bank?
travel agent on speed dial? Wow, old people really do hate the cold. Great thinking under pressure, Sammy. <laughs> Low pressure, that is. Nice work on the octogenarian spies. Oh, uh, that's a fancy word for old... Oh, never mind. I'm gonna miss that sweet smile, not to mention that incredible hair. What's your secret? Ha! As if I'd fall for your sweet old lady talk again. <laughs> Whoa, this place is totally sweet. It almost makes me want to rob a bank. What? I said almost. Well, we can always come for a visit. Since when do we visit baddies in our spare time? Uh, since I tasted Granny's snickerdiddles. Installing that hair trigger was a mistake. <coughs> Who is it? Uh, Blaine, you're coughing. Are you sick? What's going on in here? I was just, um, making toast, but I burnt it. <laughs> Remind me never to let you cook for me. Hey, I almost didn't recognize you without the getup. Actually, that's what I came by to talk to you about. I promise the, uh, play won't interfere with any more of our dates. That is, if you still want to go out with me. Pick you up tomorrow at 8? <laughs> you really are too good to be true. As of this morning, Clover is officially a non-factor. Good, because I was beginning to wonder if I was ever going to hear from you, Blaine. It just, uh, took a little longer than expected. In that case, it's been a pleasure working with you. <laughs> Something is definitely up. Gotcha. Now it's time for a little elimination mission of my own. comparing the modern-day nation-state with the multi-region empire of yore. Sounds like we're both in trouble. Hi, girls. Speaking of being in trouble... Day-old sweats, ice cream, bummed-out tood. Are you and Blaine headed for Splitsville? Or are you bummed because Jerry hasn't figured out which baddie hired your boyfriend to take you out yet? No and no. I'm bummed because Blaine is on a top-secret mission and I miss having him around. What kind of mission? Duh! I can't ask Blaney a question like that. Fellow spies have to respect each other's privacy. Besides, I already tried and he wouldn't tell me. Dating a fellow spy is like so trying. Living with one's no picnic either. I know, why don't you do something fun? Something to get you out of those sweats and out of this dorm. Yeah, doing some of your fave things is bound to cheer you up. You're right. I'll start with a visit to my fave boutique, stop for a bite at the veg out, and finish with a relaxing massage. Operation Self-Love has officially commenced. Except Operation Self-Love can't start without my purse. It's gotta be around here somewhere. <gasps> a bubbling fish tank? That's way weird. Yeah, especially since we don't even own a fish tank. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a shame. Fish can be very soothing. Jerry? Is it me? Or are these boobies getting weirder and weirder? <laughs> Not to mention wetter and wetter. So what's the big emergency, Jer? I called you here for an update on who hired Blaine to eliminate Clover. Unfortunately, Whoop has failed to uncover any leads. Hello? You sucked us through a grimy fish tank to tell us that? No. I sucked you through a grimy fish tank because I'm worried that Blaine's mystery employer may be watching your every move. Oh, this is how celebrities must feel when they're stalked by the paparazzi. In that case, you better load her up with some gear. Indeed. 
you'll need the laser nail file, the jetpack backpack, the up whatty, and an oldie but goodie, the ice queen perfume. Goodbye, girls. <laughs> and be careful! Now I need Operation Self Love more than ever! I can't wait to check out more shoes than feet for the latest in spring wedgies. <gasps> My fave shoe boutique has been replaced by a tacky thrift shop? But I was just here yesterday. With all this dressing, I could totally use some brain food. <gasps> what? The veg out is now a steakhouse? But I can't live without my eggplant rollies. With all this weirdness, my brown ones could really use some hydration. <laughs> oh no! My members only spa is now open to the public? What's going on today? At least there's one thing I can count on. Sam and Alex will never change. I wouldn't be so sure about that spy girl. <laughs> You home? Hmm, guess they went out. Oh! Ah! Ah! Jer was right! The mystery villain has finally found me! No! No mystery villain! Just two super irate roomies! Ah! Ouch! Pillow fights should only be used for fun and bonding! What's the matter with you two? Ah! More like, what's the matter with you? I cannot believe my best friend would steal my essay and pass it off as her own! Distressing news, girls. More distressing than what I've already been accused of? When will this nightmare of a day be over? I'm afraid the nightmare is just beginning. Clover, you're suspended from whoop. Suspended? <laughs> See for yourself. <gasps> but, Jared, that isn't me! I was out at all my fake places when that footage was taken. Do you have any receipts or purchases to corroborate your story? It's not my fault all my fave places went out of business. Sam, you'll back me up, right? Alex, you believe me, don't you? I'm sorry, girls, but during the investigation, you won't be allowed to speak to Clover. This day couldn't possibly get any worse. <laughs> I spoke too soon! <laughs> <laughs> Harsh! I can't believe I got kicked out of the penthouse. My purse may be stylish, but it's definitely not large. This isn't enough stuff to last the night. Since I obviously didn't steal Sam's paper, Alex's car, or that whoop weapon, someone must be trying to frame me. But who? <gasps> That's exactly what this spy is gonna find out. <laughs> My mystery employer is close. This is the weirdest jungle I've ever seen. Even so, wasn't expecting that. Let me go! Whoa! Whoa! Looks like my mystery employer doesn't like unannounced visitors. Time for a little breaking and entering. Ooh, guess Alex's car is already broken. Whew. Whew. Who could find any clues 
in all this mess. <gasps> Whoa, maybe I spoke too soon. <gasps> I'd know that scrawny British babe anywhere! It's Geraldine, the former head of SPI and the villain who tried to turn me against Whoop! Bionic woman works for me. will believe me now. Hello? Uh, hey, beautiful. Lady, where are you? All I know is I'm on some island barge in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and this plan has a real negative too. You're not going to believe this, but I know exactly where you Sorry, are. Sorry, but this is a strictly no-service area. Blaine, are you there? Hello? Blaine? Blaine? Convincing Sam and Alex will have to wait. Right now, I've got to go rescue Blaine. <laughs> Not very smart. <laughs> Next time, try moving your lair. I don't get it, Sammy. After all these years together, why is Clover acting so weird? I know, it just doesn't make sense. Perhaps I can help to clarify. The Whoop Containment Facility just called, and Geraldine has been reported missing. Geraldine? As best they can tell, she escaped sometime during the night. So much for the state-of-the-art Whoop security system. <coughs> That's not all. We traced Geraldine's cell phone log, and it appears as though she's the one who hired Blaine to eliminate Clover. I bet my term paper and your crashed car were Geraldine, too! I can't believe we didn't believe her! We have to find her! Already done. We've traced her X-Powder signal to a previously unknown island in the Pacific Ocean. That's no unknown island! That's Geraldine's barge! How are we gonna get there in time? How well? Thanks, dear! <laughs> Mystery employer, didn't you understand? Uh, gotta admire the hardware, but I still want you to put me down. Not until you answer my question. Why did you come here? I came to find out who hired me to off my girlfriend. Girlfriend? Guess that explains why you didn't finish your mission. Girlfriend? Oh, that's so sweet. After I eliminate you, I'm going to do away with that vile clover. Ruining your life is fun, but ending it will be even more rewarding. <gasps> Sorry, Geraldine, but that's so not gonna happen. Huh? Hey, Blaney! Hey, beautiful. Hi! Super spy wannabe! Getting dizzy yet, Geraldine? Not a chance! If I were you, I'd give up now, little girl! Whoa! Whoa! Right for gloating! 
<laughs> or rather, the clover hologram. I used to steal it. <laughs> Put me down! I thought you might enjoy hanging out for a while. Guess I should have seen that one coming, huh? <laughs> if nothing brings two people together like adversity, then you two are about to get real close. <laughs> Okay, now I'm miffed. Any sign of Clover yet? No, but I'm picking up something majorly freaky on the radar. Hmm. Since when are sharks made of metal? I'd bet my A and Polly Psy that Geraldine's inside that shark. Let's get her! Hello! Last time Clover was trapped alone on Geraldine's Island, she became an overachieving robot spyborn! You're right! We'll deal with Geraldine later. Autopilot engaged. Right now, we have to rescue the boy crazy shopaholic we know and love. Right behind you, Sammy! <laughs> <laughs> Coach said a few extra inches would help my b-ball career, but this is taking it too far. There's not enough haute couture in Paris to cover these freakish arms. It's okay, I like your freakish arms. Oh, you always know the perfect thing to say. You're the bestest boyfriend ever. So, what are we gonna do? I can't believe I'm saying this, but all we have to do is wait. And we can slip right out of these cocoons. Right behind you, babe. I may not have properly thought this plan through. The jungle floor is murder on the quaff. At least the circus is always hiring. Okay, leaving the stretch dramatic behind confirms it. Geraldine is the worst master spy in history. Maybe if we can snag it, we can reverse the process. It's totally scary how perfect we are for each other. <laughs> you get me all twisted into knots, baby. If I have to go out this way, I'm glad it's with you. Oh. Don't worry, nobody's going anywhere. Sam, Alex, I'm so glad you're here. Clover, we are so totally unbelievably, how can we ever make it up to you? Sorry. It's okay, I forgive you. Besides, nothing says I'm sorry like returning your best friend and her boyfriend to normal. You got it. I will never complain about being the fifth shortest member of the V-Ball team again. And I'll never complain about shopping off the rack again. Come on, girls. We've got a crazy British baddie to stop. Better take this. Never know when we might want to give Geraldine a taste of her own medicine. How are we going to find Geraldine? Target spotted! Wow, you're good!
Clover? Great work, girls, and Blaine. <laughs> um, Clover, you can bring Geraldine in any time. I thought she might enjoy hanging out for a while. <laughs> <laughs> We're so sorry we doubted you, best friend. You guys should have known better. You're right. You've never plagiarized a term paper in your entire life, so why doubt you now? And you've never borrowed my car before without asking. No, I mean, you should have known I'd never take Polly's side, Sam. And Alex, I so can't drive a stick shift. <laughs> Oh. I'm just grateful you two were able to save Blaney and me. I've got some great news, girls. Blaine has agreed to give up his freelance spying and come to work for Whoop. Well, you know what they say. A couple who spies together stays together. Hey, remember us? Yeah, you already have two spy mates. Besides, Clover, for the time being, Blaine will be working out of the Whoop Australia office. Australia? As in the continent? On the other side of the world? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, beautiful. A relationship as strong as ours can totally handle it. But I'm gonna miss you. Not as much as I'm gonna miss you. On the bright side, I hear there's some amazing beach v-ball courts down there. Plus, you can always visit me on spring break. Long distance is tough. But once we're married, we'll have our whole lives ahead of us. <laughs> Sorry, did you just say married? <laughs> Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the computer bugs bite. I thought she and her lame science humor would never leave. Great! I broke my heel. Oh well. Q2 or no Q2, things are gonna be way different this year. <laughs> Malayu has the coolest co in the whole world. Yeah, but between studying, working, and whooping, we haven't had a chance to meet any of them. Which is exactly why we should each find a university activity to join. Oh, that's an awesome idea, Sammy. If we divide and conquer, we'll have a posse of new friends in no time. <laughs> hey, check it out. A flyer for Phi Epsilon Phi, a brand new on-campus sorority. I don't know, Clover. Aren't sororities kind of snobby? <laughs> According to this, the peps are positive, enthusiastic, and pro-friendship slash sisterhood. I am so going to hit their PM pledge this. <laughs> Pardon me, ladies, but I need to have a word with you right away. <gasps> Jerry, what are you doing? My new stiff look is a cutting-edge spying technique called statue surveillance. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, in a totally creepy kind of way. Not to mention the fact that it looks majorly uncomfortable. I admit it is a bit constricting. Uh, Samantha, would you mind scratching my toe for me? Fine, but this counts as your birthday and Christmas gifts. <laughs> I can't believe I fell for Jerry's goofy goofy trick! So much for meeting new peeps. Looks like it's time for another mission. Indeed. There's been a robbery at a high-tech government laboratory. So what was stolen? A top-secret weapon? A totally potent spy serum? A way-scary super robot? No, no, and no. This time, it's a mind-controlling microchip. That was gonna be my next guess. Oops. If it were to fall into the wrong hands, it could be quite dangerous. Well, what are we waiting for? Bring on the gadget. Today, we have the Heat Sensor 6000 Infrared Motion Detector Sunglasses, the Hair Pick Block Pick, the brand new frequency blocking body spray. Wow. Mmm, <laughs> lavender scented. 
Oopsie. And last but not least, the Sonic Disintegrator Bird. Awesome! Now let's get Spicer on the road. Say no more. <laughs> What should we do? Ring the bell or not? Please, Sammy. We're super spies. As in, we're so on the list. Okay, then. The VIP entrance it is. Uh, not exactly the tray celeb welcome I was hoping for. Hi! I knew there was going to be way scary super robots on this mission. Yeah? So what do we do about them? Yeah. Well, we always Kick their fatty My fault. Ever since the break-in, we've had to beef up security at the lab. No biggie. Ever since we started college, we've been way lazy and so needed the workout. <laughs> yeah, we did. I mean, hello, freshman 15 much. In that case, why don't you come in so you can begin your investigation? Hmm. Except for the way sliced up window, nothing looks out of the ordinary. Looks can be deceiving, Alex. Bingo! Unless a tacky pink heel's supposed to be in a high-tech government lab. Whoa, 80's calling. Ugly or not, we should probably do a scan of it and beam the info to Jer for analysis. Agreed. And in the meantime, you three should get back to campus. Awesome! Because I've got me a girly date at the pet house. <laughs> Go inside and make some equally as attractive new friends. Ew! What are you doing here, loser? Duh! What does it look like? I'm pledging pep. Well, what an unfortunate coinky dink. Set our way! But what do you two know about being positive, enthusiastic, and pro friendship slash sisterhood? <laughs> I absolutely nothing. But we aren't here for any of those dumb reasons. We're here for the perks. And we hear there's lots of them. Hello, ladies. Welcome to Pep. Get ready to experience the joy of sorority life. Ah! Hey! Oh. Uh. From the 24-hour Peppy Maid service to the on-call sisterly hairstylist to the fully loaded Greek gym, Pep House is chock full of amenities. Wicked! Radical! But, more importantly, it's a place of warmth and acceptance for all. Oh. Aww, what evs? We just want to know if we're in. Yeah! Like, when do we become official paps? You'll know by the end of the week. After you complete a few tasks. Like what? Like learning the pep spirit song for starters. <laughs> From the halls of gorgeous pep house, sister <laughs> bonded chair. You got spirit of pep and good taste, not to mention awesome hair. Excellent. Now it's time for your second task, running a simple little errand for me. <laughs> So what's it gonna be, Sammy? School paper, foreign language club, campus art enthusiasts? How about the Skywriting Poets Society? Did you? Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Oh yeah? Then why do you have that sly smirk on your face? Now get on with it before we turn you into a paper airplane and sail you out the window. Very well. I have the results of the shoe scan. It appears that the heel has a solid diamond tip. 
Whoa, talk about an exciting new fashion trend. Guess we know how the intruder sliced through the glass at the lab. According to Whoop Records, the unique heel is only available at a few locations. Posh pumps in Beverly Hills, killer kicks in the valley, and Mally Yu Shoe. Mally Yu Shoe? That's the on-campus shoe boutique. We'll check it out right away, Jer. <laughs> Huh? What's the matter, Clover? Hey, girls. Uh, hey, Clover. How was the pep fest? Amazing. You know, except for the part where Mandy and Mindy were there. Ah, I guess that would explain why it looks like you've been in a brawl. A brawl? What are you talking about? She's talking about the oh. fact that you have dirt on your face, a broken fingernail, and a major case of afternoon bedhead. Why? I have no idea how I got this way. Regardless, we've got to follow up on the lead Jer just gave us in the lab break-in sitch. Yeah, we're on our way to Mally Yu Shoe right now. I'll meet you there in five. After I freshen up. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> huh? <gasps> <gasps> From the house of gorgeous Pep House, sisters bond and share. We got spirit, pep, and good taste, not to mention awesome hair. <laughs> 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 It's time for your next assignment. Round up the girls of Sigma Alpha Sigma, just like you rounded up the Gamma Alpha Gammas earlier today. Yeah! That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Good, because once I eliminate the other on-campus sororities, I'll have unlimited power. Maybe I should join the Maliu Mathletes. Oh, or better yet, students for studying. Yeah, if you want your new friends to be boring. If you want fun, I say go with kooky co-eds of comedy. Okay, Clover's five minutes just turned into five hours. We should have known better than to leave her alone in the powder room. She's not answering. Oh, well, we'll just have to go shoe spying without her. Bingo, we're in. into the customer database. And we'll know who purchased the diamond tip footwear? Exactly. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> From the halls of gorgeous pep house, sisters bond and share. Uh-oh, sounds like our hack attack will have to wait. I'm right behind you. Good work, pledges. See you at the next excitingly peppy task. But aren't you even ickier looking than you were the last time we saw you? You bet! Are you sure you're feeling okay? Because we, like, totally heard someone scream. Did you hear it too? Right on! From the halls of gorgeous pep house, sisters bond and share. We got spirit, pep, and good taste. Not to mention awesome hair! Clover, wait! Come back! Why are you acting so bizarro? Okay, so not only is Clover acting way weird, but now she's hanging with the Terror Twins? The results of the download. According to Mally Yu Shu, only one person on campus has diamond heel pumps. Muffy Pepridge. Muffy what a rich? Pepridge, as in the president of Pep. And if we want to figure out if she's involved in the lab break we'd better go check her out. Whoa! Clover wasn't kidding! This place is amazing! No wonder she wanted to join a sorority. Guess I'll just have to take your word for it. <gasps> Oopsie, sorry, Sammy. Don't apologize to me. Ow! Apologize to my shoulders. Uh, uh. Uh. Hola, huh? <gasps> hey, did you hear that? It all started last it's year. coming from the fireplace. I, ordinary Mally, you theory student. I was rejected from every sorority I pledged, so I decided to form one of my own. Pep! <gasps> That must be Muffy! You're right! My goal? To eliminate all the other sororities in the world. And thanks to the mind-controlling microchips I've implanted in my pledges pins, it'll be a snap! 
<gasps> Mind controlling microchips? Guess now we know who our intruder is. And why Clover's been acting so incredibly freaky. <gasps> Hello, ladies. Welcome to Pep. Get ready to experience the joy of sorority life. <laughs> Forget it, Muffy. Yeah, we aren't interested in joining your creepy club. Unfortunately, you don't have much of a choice. Okay, pledges, round up these two and show them what it means to be positive and enthusiastic. I'm right on. on. I'm on it. Uh, something tells me we're about to find out how Clover ended up with such a bad hair day. Not if I have anything to say about it. from anyone but Jerry. Yeah, and usually we don't even listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta call Whoop and let Jerry know what's going on in this crazy campus. Uh -huh. Hi, girls. Are you ready to get peppy? Actually, Clover, we're not gonna join your evil sisterhood. We're gonna destroy it. Hey! <laughs> Notorious sorority. Then we'll be ready to begin world sorority elimination. Hooray! We got spirit, pep, and good taste. Not to mention awesome hair. Sure <laughs> thing. From the hall of the gorgeous pep house. By sure thing, I mean ass. Good taste. Not to mention awesome hair. From the hall of the gorgeous pep house. Sisters bond and share. We got spirit, pep, and good taste. Not to mention awesome hair. Love and war, Clover. 
over. Now pledge the fist. <laughs> being a poorly groomed hypnopledge, did you two ever find a university activity to join? Hmm, are you mm. kidding? We've got our own little club right here. You said it, ladies. <gasps> Jerry, what are you doing? It's a brand new spying technique called portrait eavesdropping. Pretty impressive, eh? <laughs> girls, <laughs> girls, you still there, girls? <laughs> Languages 101 in the exciting ancient language of Skulunta. <clears throat> uh, whose idea was it for us to take this freaky class again? Don't tell me you guys aren't finding this really fascinating. This professor sounds like a chicken. You know, some languages are dead for a reason. Skulunta would have been lost forever if not for the discovery of these tablets a few years ago. <laughs> I must say, uh, Kumpa Otep Wangu Wangu. <sighs> Please let there be time for me to get out of this class at actually. <laughs> Balupti, Krishaba, Hongo here! Wow! Thanks for the soft landing, Jared. That's a huge improvement. Yeah. New whoop safety regulations. Huh? Okay, two questions. Is that a beret on your head? And can I borrow it this weekend? Yes, it is. And no, you may not. Since when are you so interested in international fashion, Jerry? Since I've decided to take a little on-the-job R&R. &R. More specifically, I will be working out of Whoop's Paris office for a while, and you girls are coming with me. No way! <laughs> what an amazing coincidence! Paris is like our most famous city ever. Without a doubt! Well, besides maybe Beverly Hills and Malibu. Oh, and the one cute place that we went, but I can't remember. Point taken. I better head back to campus and start packing right away. When do we leave, Jer? Right now. No way! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. So, Euro Whoop is located at the 
Eiffel Tower? Actually, it's located beneath the Eiffel Tower. Follow me, ladies. You haven't brought us here before. Ah, I concur. This place does shred indeed. Hey, I just remembered. My mother sent me my family tree last week and it's still in my mailbox. Great. Why don't you just drag it into your trash can? Family trees are so lame. No way! I think I have some cousins who live in France. How cool is that? Whoa, Alex. It looks like your family tree is literally a tree's worth of paper. Here they are! I think I'll send them an email and see if we can get together while I'm here. Oh, I wonder what they're like. <sighs> Sounds fun, but I can't wait to check out some of the museums and historical sites around the city. Well, I'm all about shopping for cute clothes and cute boys, as long as they don't speak that junky school on a gibberish. Your extracurricular activities will have to wait, ladies. Whoop has been informed that the first women's gymnastics team of Romania has mysteriously gone missing. They were so close to escaping. You'll need some gadgets. <laughs> One Pippotard spring-loaded suit, all the rage expanding briefcase, the loose grip wristwatch whip, and always a classic laser lipstick. Oh well, the sights of Paris will have to wait. Now, how exactly do we get out of here? How cool Paris is! There it is! Romania! The place of the head of lettuce! Uh, that's Romaine, Alex. Romania has nothing to do with lettuce. Really? That's a weird coincidence. looks normal enough from the outside. I don't see any signs of a forced entry. Let's check out the inside. According to Jerry, this is where the team works out 365 days a year. Well, it looks like the only ones who've been working out here have been a team of dust buddies. Gesundheit! <gasps> Apparently, the hardest working gymnasts in the biz are either loafing it or have been abducted. Hey, what's going on? doing in Nadia Yadia's gym? Hey! You're the gymnastics team! I thought you got uh, a... Oh, uh, uh, well, we're, we're just tourists. Uh, we thought your gym here was a museum. Guess we're more than a little lost, ain't we, gals? <laughs> you don't look like tourists. Gymnastics competition is fierce, and sometimes other less talented teams send spies to steal our techniques. Us? Spies? <laughs> That's a good one. The only thing I've ever spied is a sweet deal at a purse store. <laughs> this is why, just to be safe, we've been training in secret. Uh. <sighs> Come see our Gymnastic Titans of the Universe competition tomorrow, and you'll see why we are the best team in the world. Thanks. Uh, we'll definitely try and make it. Uh, ciao! Including your mustache. Uh. <clears throat> so, the mission ladies? Right. Well, the gymnastics team seems to be alive and well, even if they are a little harsh on the eyes. And harsh on the rest of our bodies, too. They were on us like stink on a monkey. Seriously, I blame that crappy coach Nadia. She's an even bigger slave driver than Jerry. <laughs> but alas, no crime to report. Looks like your Euro sources were way off the mark this time. Now that that's settled, time for some La R and R. Yeah! Not so fast, Ladettes. As long as you're here, I'd like you to investigate an apparent break-in at the Paris National Zoo. Come on, Jer. I thought the work week in France was supposed to be, like, way short. Yeah, what's with the back-to-back -back missions? Mm. 
Hey! My relatives emailed me back. They want to get together. Splendid. After your mission. So, why would someone want to break into the zoo and not take anything? Especially considering admission is free. All I know is that they might not let us out of here on account of Jerry working us like mules. <gasps> This piece of fabric looks so familiar. I'll tell you why. Because it's the same fabric as Nadia's sweatsuit. Well, why would someone from the Romanian team be all the way over here at the Paris Zoo? Maybe they were working out with the monkeys. You know, trading techniques. If they were, they chose some pretty bad training partners. Huh? <laughs> this mission has just taken a really weird turn. We better tell Jerry right away. <laughs> Oh, hello, ladies. Thought you might like a little bit of that R&R &R we've been talking so much about. So much for Whoop's new safety regulations. Jeez, <laughs> Karen, I thought my driving was scary. So we've made a connection between the gymnastics team and a bunch of zoned-out monkeys at the Paris Zoo. Hmm, that's very disconcerting. I think the best course of action is for you girls to go undercover at the upcoming competition. Undercover is what? A rival gymnastics team from the tiny but spirited country of Whoop Stanza. There's a tiny country called Whoop Stanza? There is now. Sam, you'll be the coach, Alex will be the trainer, and Clover, you'll be the star gymnast. Wow! Star gymnast? Awesome! Wait, I don't know a thing about gymnastics. Except that they wear adorable little outfits. Then I suggest you put that adorable flipper card to good use. It should even out the odds nicely. Oh, no! oh, I never knew it was possible to get seasick on a river. Alex, is that you, Alex? It's my relatives. I forgot I was supposed to meet them under the Eiffel Tower half an hour ago. Come, Alex. Get some love from your auntie Agrippine. Oh, wow, that's a lot of love. Meet your Uncle Gérard and little Pierre and Papa Lucien. Oh, you look so much like your cousin Christelle. Yeah, except for the hair, teeth, freckles, glasses, and ears. She's a dead ringer for you, Alex. We brought you some of our special swine and intestine cheese. The family has been making it for generations. Oh, thank you so much. Wine is one of my favorite flavors of cheese. Come now, sweet Alex. We have lost so much time. I will teach you the family dance. The dirt, bien sûr. It's your destiny to work on the family farm. Did she just say what I thought she said? I'm not sure. The smell of the swine cheese is making me a little delirious. Work the family farm? Well, I did get an A-plus on my terrarium project in biology class. Well, it was really nice meeting you folks, but we have a previous engagement to get to. We do? Yeah, Alex. It's called a mission. A ripper! We'll talk later. Bye-bye! Signing in. Hey! This flipper tart suit is flippotastic! Look at my style and moves! <laughs> oh, I can't! I'm too busy looking at that freak show! <laughs> is it me, or do those girls have an even bigger ew factor than before? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need that suit and more to beat those guys. All I know is unless Jerry gave them flippetard suits of their own, something fishy's going on here. Maybe we better take a look at what's going on behind the scenes. And leave me in here with them? Just try your best to fit in. Stop! Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Oh, I don't stink so. First time I've ever left my home country of Whoopstan. 
Costanza! Costanza, huh? I can't quite see them! Up! Uh, Nadia's here! Uh, Come on! Huh? Today we will show the world who the best gymnasts in the universe are! Time to mega fusion! <laughs> can confirm that we actually saw what I think we saw. Yep. The saliva contains primate DNA. We better send this to Gary for analysis. Then get back out there and make sure Clover's okay. Ew! Wax much. What about putting the mast in gymnast? <laughs> that is right, girls. Show them your mad skills. <laughs> Ready to 
instead found a friend of yours. I also brought an antidote for the chalk sample you sent me. By the way, where's Clover? Uh, yeah. There was a little mishap and Clover kind of went ape on us. <laughs> Blimey, I should say so. I need to gather them all together first. See if this helps. Perfect. The titanium sails should hold them long enough for me to... I know you're on vacation, but let's talk in more action, Jerry! It looks like it worked! I just had the craziest dream. And now that I'm awake, I have a serious banana craving. What's that about? You girls will be happy to know that Nadia has been locked away where she can't do any more damage. Furthermore, all the gymnasts, as well as the monkeys, are completely back to normal. That's good news. Now if only you could turn Alex back to normal. Hey, if I want to live the life of a farmer like my family has for generations, that's my business. Please. That's a cheap shot. Ouch! Miss Alex! Miss Alex! Auntie Agrafine, I have some great news! I'm ready to work the family farm! I just checked my family tree, which says you are not related to us. You are a total stranger. What? But there must be some mistake! There's no mistake. Come, Christelle, stay away from that imposter. On the bright side, I'll never have to hear about or smell that stinky cheese again. Auntie, come back! I have to be related. I look so much like Cousin Christelle. So, who's up for a relaxing uh, boat ride? Um, actually, I have to go to the Museum of Very Old Things later. And I have some really important shoes to shop for. Ciao! Oh, well. Looks like I'm captain and crew. Reason now, visitors! Ease up on the 
power trip, you two. It's just a volunteer gig. Gig? Volunteer campus patrol is my life! <laughs> If you try to break out and go all Fuji, you'll be booted out of Mali U forever! Forever is a really long time. Last time I saw this revved up, we were fighting over the latest Diorchi purse at Bag Boutique. You girls better leave before. <laughs> <laughs> on a littering charge. Oh, Alex, littering is disgraceful. It was an accident. Very well. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, cool, that's me. Jerry, you created a time machine so I could be in two places at once. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. I know, it's a clone. It's a hologram, Alex. Oh. I guess that's kind of impressive. Hmm. Yeah. I could so use that device for disastrous dates. <laughs> Sorry, Clover, I wouldn't dream of using this for personal reasons. Anymore. Now, back to business. There are reports of dirt-filled tornadoes, floods of sludge, and other polluted goings-on all over Beverly Hills. Gross! Indeed. Who would want to dirty up BH? Hopefully you'll find out, and soon. The consequences of such filth are proving quite catastrophic to the environment. Oh, my! Another disturbance is being reported right now! Better gadget us pronto, Jer! Yes, here you are. Your multifunction charm bracelet, net-throwing extendable rod mascara, inflatable lint roller, and the new and improved shield umbrella. <laughs> awesome choices, Jerry! Now give Beverly Hills a makeover. Post haste! <laughs>
accomplished, Mandy. You call this accomplished? Like, how could you leave that on the ground? It's a leaf. Wrong! If a leaf is not on a tree, it is garbage! Now pick it up! Oh, it's gonna be a long night. Only for losers. Hi, holding up, Alex. Like, she even needs to answer that. Just look at her. Litter duty is one thing, but that uber ugly outfit is cruel and unusual punishment. Totally. No one could make this color work except a jack-o'-lantern. That must be the results of the feather analysis. Apparently, it's from a feather duster used by clean freaks. I don't think it's fair to call someone a clean freak just because they use a feather duster, Sammy. No, clean freaks is a cleaning service. Better call Jared fill him in. I'm gonna do a little more digging on clean freaks. Spies, I... Oh, Alex. Orange is not doing you any favors, dear. Alex's mega fashion crisis is the least of our worries, dear. Our only lead right now is a feather used by Clean Freak's cleaning service. Oh, my. I was hoping for more. Beverly Hills is at a stage 10 toxicity alert as we speak. Uh, hey, look at this. Clean Freak's is located in the center of BH. I bet it's coming from there. Excellent find, Sam. You'd better go undercover as maids and infiltrate Clean Freak's. Maids? But, Chair, does that mean we'll have to touch even more dirt? Quite possibly. <gasps> Better switch unis. Ew! I think I'm gonna be sick. Suddenly my orange jumpsuit doesn't seem so bad. dirty. Huh? Yeah, how does such a messy place win such a shiny award? <gasps> hey, Alex, you found a secret panel. Wait a snoop. Come on. Hello? Like, what kind of bizarre feather duster is that? Girls? Look at all the attachments. It's that robot thingy that attacked us in Hotel Posh. Shh, don't wake it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Sounds like it's coming from the trash chute. Uh... <sighs> Dropping any gum wrappers. Yeah! Oh, 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 Jerry is so gonna make up for this assignment. Minty Fresh. Come on, we have to free the others. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <gasps> Oh, allow me to introduce myself. Made Meredith at your disposal. Garbage disposal, that is! <laughs> like, you seriously need a refresher course in cleanliness, Made Messy? What do you know about it? I bet you've never washed a dish in your life! Well, I am sick of you and all the other unappreciative snobs who take my work for granted! Hey, I just cleaned an entire campus, so this. Oh, boo-hoo. I keep all the Beverly Hills pristine, but no more. Soon it'll be an uninhabitable dump. But you're not just being untidy. You're ruining the environment. Good. If I have it my way, they'll name a hole in the ozone after me. Don't count on it. <laughs> the thingy! It's awake! Meet the world's first international vacuum Three thousand together, we will pollute the world. We'll see about that. Come on, girls, let's clean house. <laughs> so that was a little embarrassing. <laughs> okay, ugly florals, hideous, but ugly florals covered in trash. Attachment. But 
Five of them turbocharged! No one dunks my BFF in a bucket of dirty water! Get him, Clover! That's right, it's just you and me now! Show me what you got, dirtbag! Miss me? I think you did! Now we'll leave these ingrates to perish in filth! Calm down, everyone! There's nothing to be scared of! No one's ever perished from being in a dirty room! Uh. All right, I'll admit the ceiling closing in on us is a bit of an issue! Sammy! Let's see. Nail file, curling iron. Oh, here we go. Mini slicer. Sammy! Alex! We would free us from a messy fake, Clover. We'll get the others. Clover, you get the door. That's for sure. I'm finding another service! <laughs> Clean drinks is fired! Whoop check! Girls, I just got word that Beverly Hills is in danger of being completely destroyed. What's your status on the mission? Well, we posed as maids like you suggested, got beat up by a vacuum cleaner, tossed in a trash compactor, and then watched helplessly as the batting escaped! I trust there's good news forthcoming? Cha! We are super spies, Jer! I slapped a tracking device on that outrageous Shubrika! Good thinking, Clover. I'll feed the Whoop GPS tracking signal to your X powder. <gasps> Girls! Maid Meredith is heading right toward campus! <gasps> she has another thing coming if she thinks she's gonna dirty up now at you after all my hard work. Pull over ever, Sammy. Just remember, it's for the greater good, Clover. 
Sam, no! Not my entire Angora collection! Take my hair! Take my hair! No can do. This is bigger than your hair. Uh, Hungry? I have the perfect snack for you! <laughs> <laughs> about it. Your lipstick? Yeah, but huh? I am innocent! Innocent! That's what they all say. Oh, girls, don't forget the best part! Not me! Ah! Oh! who thinks I'm following in her footsteps. If she finds out I'm a fashion design major, she's gonna be all sorts of disappointed. <laughs> so, I've decided to do all I can to convince her that I'm pre-med instead of pre-thread. <laughs> History of the Earlobe, Volume 1? Are you seriously reading this? I'm trying. Oh, Clover! <gasps> Surprise! Mom! You're here! Oh! My morning lobectomy finished ahead of schedule, which means I have even more time to spend with my little surgeon in training. And, of course, her best friends. Oh, okay. Well, I wish I could hang, but it's my first day volunteering at the Campus Cat Lab, and I can't be late. <laughs> and I'm on my way out for a jog. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This is it. The Animal Lover's Mothership. Hello, Veterinary Studies Building! Awesome! This is gonna be the best volunteer job ever! You must be Alex. I'm Professor Dion. Feline Dion. It sounds like you're as excited about cats as I am. Are you kidding? Cats are like the cutest things ever! Hmm? I mean, besides those full fur boots you're wearing. Thank you. And thank you for your enthusiasm about felines. As far as I'm concerned, cats are the most amazing, intelligent, glorious creatures on the entire planet. I only wish we humans could be more like them. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, like I said, they're cute. And I'll take really good care of them, I promise. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a few errands to run. I'll see you later. Well, guess that leaves me and the kitties. So, what should I do first? Groom you, feed you, clean your cages. <laughs> You know? <laughs> so, how about I huh? fix you some coffee? After that early morning surgery session, you must be wiped. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Clover? Clover? Yeah! <laughs> oh! Yes! Safe by the bell. I mean, the whoop. Hey! Let me out of here! <laughs> Thanks, girls. Hello, ladies. Would you care for a cold beverage? Here? In the flesh. Rubber flesh, that is. I'm en route to the annual Whoop Spy Guys convention and couldn't be more thrilled. Yeah, so thrilled that you forgot that you're still wearing a skirt. Oopsie. Is there a reason you brought it to your chair? That would be to inform you of several events that have happened around the globe, including the Great Sphinx of Giza being restored to its original luster, the sculptures of the presidents at Mount Rushmore being replaced with cat faces, and a rather odd occurrence at the Leaning Tower of Pisa. What do you mean by odd? You'll need to see that for yourselves. And now for your gadgets. Hmm. Today, we have the launching pad platform shoes, the solid iron hair gel, the Arctic Blast breath mint, and the chameleon eyeshadow. Ooh, colorful. And practical. When applied, it not only blends the lids beautifully, but it allows the user to blend into whatever background they're standing against. Thanks, dear. You're quite welcome. Now, prepare for landing. Look. Actually, I'm kind of enjoying the view right here, Sam. <laughs> sure! Anyone know how to say Hunkalicious in Italian? Nope, but I know how to say goodbye. As in Arrivederci Hot Security Guard, hello, chameleon eyeshadow. Are you guys coming? Uh, uh coming. Exactly. I guess anything that might be considered a clue. How? I thought carpet was supposed to be plush. It's not the carpet, Alex. It's that weird fingernail claw thingy. Whatever it is, we better analyze it on the double. <laughs> We're busted, girls! Run for it! Pilates classes are really paying off. So, who's ready to head back home? <sighs> as much as I love Italy, I really do need to get back to my mom. And while you do that and Sammy goes to class, I'll analyze the clue we found. Hello, Professor Dion? 
like the coast is clear. Now to see what this freaky clue's all about. No way! This claw contains both human and cat DNA! How is that even possible? I better tell Sam and Clover right away! Who are Sam and Clover? And what are you telling them? <gasps> Professor Dion! Uh, Sam and Clover are my friends, and I need to tell them that, um, I'm working at the lab today, so I can't join them for a froyo. Hmm. Uh, did you just come from lunch because you seem to have a little something on your face? <gasps> it's nothing. Actually, Alex, I have things covered here. Why don't you call it a day? Okay, well, I'll see you later. Yes, you will. And you'll be more proud. Emergency. Uh, are mutant mermen attacking the whoop yacht again? No. Worse. My mom wants to have an early dinner in Beverly Hills. Can you believe it? What's so bad about that? <sighs> Duh. She's gonna want me to talk about med school, which is why I need you two to help me keep up the charade. Okay, fine. We'll be there. Thanks. You two are the best. <laughs> so, did you find anything out about our claw clue? Yeah. According to the lab's computer, it has both human and cat DNA. Freaky! You better send it to Jerry. Maybe he can figure out exactly which human we're talking about. Uh. I'm not leaving a tip! So, Clover, what's your favorite earlobe shape? Tapered? Round? Dangly? Uh. Grab a seat. Thanks, Clover. Mmm, soft. Uh, thanks. Mm. Huh? Hmm. Alex, what are you doing? Mm. Don't worry, Mom. Alex is just tired. Sleep deprivation makes her do all sorts of outrageous things. I remember being tired in college, but I didn't do anything quite so peculiar. Hey, what's going on here? What was that? I don't know. We better check it out. <gasps> I'll see you back at the dorm. <laughs> that was a close one. Thanks for acting weird and covering for me, Alex. What do you mean, acting weird? Someone say weird? Guess now we know what that scream was about. Someone trashed the Bev Hills fountain by filling it with yucky sand. It isn't sand, it's kitty litter, just like we have at the lab. Freaky. You think that has something to do with all the other weird events that have been happening around the world? <laughs> Is this your idea of a lamer than lame practical joke? How dare you mess with my beloved Beverly Hills? <laughs> Jerry? None other than. I've arrived at the convention, but I took a moment to analyze the sample you sent me. What did you find? Turns out the human DNA belongs to a Feline Dion. Feline Dion? That's the professor from the cat lab I work in. Guess that stuff on her lip was more than just leftovers from lunch. Must have been whiskers. Oh, dear. Sounds like you girls have some investigating to do. <laughs> Ta da! The horse is awake. Sticking out from the bottom of your shirt. Oh, pretty. <gasps> pretty? Try pretty disturbing. It's like, it's like you're turning into a cat person. <gasps> it must be from pricking your finger. <clears throat> Ew! Get out of there, Alex. We better head to that cat lab right now and get to the bottom of this. I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Mm. <laughs> Maybe something like that? Wow, what a fun room! Yeah, if you're a demented 110 pound cat. Oh, oopsie. Sorry, Alex. Odd. This looks like.
like some kind of cryogenic containment unit. Uh, translation? Preferably with smaller words, please? It's a fancy refrigerator. The question is, what is this? Cat DNA infused serum? That's a weird thing to keep in the fridge. Hmm. Ah! Not if you love cats as much as I do. Pauline Dion, I take it. And I see you've been using the serum on yourself. Ooh! The only thing better than petting a cat is being one. And now I've devised a way to unite humans and cats together forever by bonding their DNA. Did it ever occur to you that not everyone wants to be a cat person? I mean, talk about a waxing nightmare. <laughs> she seems to be enjoying it. Alex? And once I deploy the serum across the globe, everyone will understand the joy that she and I feel. Across the globe? So you're the one who messed with all those landmarks. The new race of cat people will need places to play and landmarks to visit. Yeah. Off to my first target. Maliu! We gotta get out of here before Feline carries out her crazy plan! Great idea! Only this door isn't budging! What do we do? Alex, can you use one of your claws to pick the lock on this door? No problem! Awesome! Good kitty! serum into the school's water line. <laughs> in two minutes' time, the sprinklers will be activated and everyone will turn into glorious cat people. <laughs> There's Feline! Looks like I have company. Time for a game of cat and mouse. Facing me and watch as my plan unfold. <laughs> Whoa! I can't believe she made that jump. Feline must have nine lives as a cat. So must Alex. <laughs> You. you guys keep after Feline while I stop her serum. Guys, we'll try, Sammy! As soon as we figure out how to escape this yard ball! Come on, Alex! Let's bag this cat! We're on your tail, Feline! Ew! A giant hairball! You're so gonna pay my dry cleaning bill! I've only got 30 seconds. So, how are you liking your new cat self, Alex? I like it just fine, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you turn everyone in the world into cat people. We'll see about that. Pendulum. <laughs> 
like one of my disguises. Actually, I kind of like it. I was thinking I might stay this way. You'd better come with me. We can discuss it at Woop. I'll send some agents to clean up this little canvas mess. Thanks, Jer. OMG, I totally forgot about my mom. I gotta get back to the penthouse right away. Hey, Clover, just think about coming clean about your real major. Mm -hmm. I promise she won't be disappointed in you. <laughs> Hey, Mom! I'm back! Oh. Don't pay any attention to that! Sketching's just a silly hobby. Unlike earlobe surgery, which is like my total passion. In fact, when I remembered I had a test tomorrow on lobe shapes, I ran to the library to study up. You don't say. Okay, fine. You caught me! I'm not really studying to be a doctor. I'm studying to be a fashion designer. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner, but I so don't want to disappoint you. Can you ever forgive me? Forgive you? Sweetie, I'm thrilled that you found your passion. And even if you love hemlines more than earlobes, I still love you. You do? Of course. And remember, whatever you have going on in your life, you can always share it with me. Thanks, Mom. You're the best! So, what do you say to designing me a new pair of hospital scrubs? <gasps> I'd love to! Mm. Just a drop should be sufficient. Huh? huh? Excellent. findings show that the Whoop age-reversing serum is a success. Pending a few more trials, it should be off and running. Being a journalist is not simply about telling a story. Being a journalist is about uncovering the truth. Ooh, this guy is good. Your assignment is to write an expose for the school paper, uncovering some kind of injustice in the world. Uh-oh. Looks like it's spy time. I'll catch the rest of this later. With a little help from the pen recorder hologram, that is. Now. Let's talk about the meaning of injustice. Well, it looks like we all got the same alert. A break in at the Whoop Experimental Lab. I hated to leave journalism class. The professor was just going over our first assignment. You think that's bad? 
We were just debating slingback versus pumps in advanced shoe theory. Now I'll have to wait until after the mission to find out which to wear to a semi-formal occasion. Oh, well, actually, I don't mind so much. Pop quiz and animal grooming. I sure hope my hologram steady. Huh? Prepare to be whooped! Security system before it turns us off! I'm a little stuck in here! No one beats me at limbo! That's as low as I can go! Don't worry, girls! I've got this! Oh no! Sorry, girls, I seem to have misplaced my ID card. And I thought I was the forgetful one. <laughs> huh? Oh, my. My age-reversing serum is gone. But this is new. I definitely would have remembered a diamond-encrusted tiara. Let me see. <sighs> I don't know. After all, good accessories like this don't grow on trees, Sammy. <sighs> Red hair! Okay, I might be more grossed out if this weren't an awesome clue. We'd better analyze that hair right away. It says the hair belongs to Bertha Bombshell, a 55-year-old woman from Liverpool, England. Why, Liverpool's where I spent my youth. You had a youth? <laughs> <laughs> Sure he did. Everyone has one. So, did you know Shakespeare? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to England to check out this Bertha chick right away. <clears throat> You'll need these. Binocular sunglasses for when you really need to get up close and personal. Sugar-free hot and spicy gum, now hotter and spicier than ever, for the optimal sweating effect. A web sling ring for hitting baddies with sticky webbing. And a super strong titanium hair clip that keeps hair and anything else firmly in place. Oh, perfect. OK, then off you go. Wait, in case we get to meet the queen. I don't want to be underdressed. Whoop away. <laughs> <laughs> so we can slide on through. Maybe we need another piece of gum? Or not. Is it hot in here or just me? Oh! <laughs> nice and sweaty should never be used in the same sentence. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I think I've died and gone to pageant heaven! Check it out! Here's Bertha winning the Miss Tea and Crumpet England title. And there's her winning Miss Tower of London. And look! There she is taking first runner-up in the Miss Fish and Chips contest, losing out to Miss Flounder. What could she possibly want with Jerry's serum? After all, she's totally young and beautiful. Yeah, except that these are all photos of Bertha from over 40 years ago. You don't <gasps> think that Bertha took the age-reversing serum in order to make herself young again and recapture her youth? 
That's exactly what I think. We've got to call Jerry right away. Ouch! <gasps> Look! It's Jerry's Whoop ID! How odd that he would have misplaced it here. He didn't misplace it. Bertha took it to gain access to the Whoop Lab. But how did she know that it even existed? Uh... <gasps> Hello, girls. How's the mission going? We're at Bertha's house. She's got your ID, and we think Bertha may have used the serum on herself. <laughs> oh, dear. That's extremely problematic. Huh? If you girls don't get to Bertha right away, the situation could become quite dire. She's not home. Where could she be? I think I know. The Miss Planetary Teen Pageant in Monte Carlo. And it's today! Excellent work, Spies. You're to go there right to... Oh, What's wrong, Jer? Yeah, it looks like you've seen a ghost. In a way, I have. Bertha is someone I used to date. Hmm? <sighs> First, you're telling us you were young. And now you're telling us you used to date? <laughs> she was Bertha Cronkshell back in the day. She was quite the looker and had a great personality until she lost the Miss Fish and Chips contest. She could never eat flounder again. So that's how Bertha knew about Whoop. She must have remembered Jerry worked there and followed him to the experimental lab. Yes. This only makes the situation more pressing. I'll send the new and improved Whoop speedboat to pick you up right away. The boat is newly equipped with sonic boombox missiles that deliver a rockin' musical boom. Powerful water spray jets strong enough to keep attackers away, and an ultimate energy harpoon to help you catch everything from sharks to bad guys. Thanks, Jerry. You're welcome, Spies. Now, goodbye and good luck. Wow! This must be the place. No way. This is the best mission ever. <laughs> Welcome to the Grand Von Thump Monte Carlo Hotel. Wow, it's Von Thumptastic. <laughs> okay, now I've gone to heaven. <sighs> Too bad we can't enjoy any of it. We've got a mission. <sighs> Maybe the injustice you should be reporting on is that we have to work for Jerry instead of getting to enjoy a place as opulent as this. Look, the beauty queens represent every nation. Whoa. I may not be meeting the queen, but I'm not going to be the only one around here without a tiara. We gotta find Bertha right away. Jerry said it was quite dire, which means it must be really bad. The only problem is, with so many redheads in the competition who all look similar, how can we be positive which one is Bertha? Simple. We go undercover as beauty contestants. Hmm. <laughs> Awesome. Welcome everyone to the first ever Miss Planetary Teen Contest, hosted by me, the very grand Ronald Von Thumb, at the Grand Von Thumb Hotel, where every day is grand. We're going to start with the interview portion of the competition, conducted by me, Ronald Von Thumb. Let the pageant begin. Here's our first grand contestant. Please, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your platform is. Uh, I'm Clover. I'm from Whoop, Topia. And well, when it comes to shoes, my platform is the higher the better. <clears throat> I'm Sam. Um, as I learned in journalism class, my platform is truth, integrity, and reliable sources. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, um, like animals. Yeah! Hey, you uh, want to see my chicken dance? <laughs> oh, why don't you save that for the grand talent competition? Uh -huh. Thank you, 
my dear, that's very ambitious of you. <gasps> Did you hear that? She said she'll do whatever it takes to get ahead. And she has red hair. I think we may have found our villain. <laughs> to match the one we found earlier. I'm all over it. No! <laughs> I was thinking to get one from her brush, but that'll do. Oopsie. What abs? Let's just analyze it already. It's a match. She's old Bertha, all right. Or a new Bertha. Young Bertha. Whatever Bertha she is, we've got to help her before the serum does any damage. Come on. We know you broke into Whoop and stole Jerry's age reversing serum. And though we don't usually go around helping thieves, you totally need help. Because the serum you stole is way experimental. As in, it's about to turn on you any second. Age reversing serum? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, please, lady. We are so onto you. Yeah. So you better do what we say before it's too late. Why should I believe you? You're just just <laughs> pageant girls trying to stop me from winning this planetary team. After all I've done to get here, there's no way I'm going to let you rob me of my title. <sighs> we aren't pageant girls. We're whoop spies, and we're going to help you whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh, just once I'd like for one of these experimental gadgets to be a little <laughs> less experimental. <laughs> If you'll excuse me, it's time for the talent portion of the competition. <laughs> she's getting away! And she's starting to mutate! We gotta do something fast! Aren't all of our contestants grand? Not as grand as me, Ronald Von Thump, of course. And now for the talent portion of the competition. Up first, Miss Denmark! <laughs> Give a Von Thump round of applause for that power grand herring fishing, folks. <laughs> Thank you, Miss France. Another grand performance. Whoa! Uh, thank you, Miss Australia. And now, Miss England will grace us with her rhythmic gymnastics skills. grand enough for the Grand Von Thump Hotel. You have been eliminated from the competition. If I'm not going to win Miss Planetary Teen, then no one else is either. Well, the web sling ring may have malfunctioned, but the sticky webbing works well. Uh, too well. How are we ever going to escape? The tiara! And you're thinking about accessories at a time like this, why? I'm not! I'm thinking about what the accessory is made of. And that's diamonds! Way to use your head, Clover! What can I say? I have beauty and brains. <gasps> Looks like things have gotten worse with Bertha. It's time to bust our baddie! <laughs> Experiment with grossness, Jer. Come on, girls. We gotta stop her. <laughs> what the? Ha, 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 ha. 
full whoop power. Alex, you stay here and make sure no one gets hurt. I'm on it. Clover, come with me. I just wanted one more win. Can you ever forgive me, darling? <clears throat> Sorry, your pageant days are over. You'll soon be returning to your natural age once the remaining age-reversing serum is removed from your system. Pity you never got over losing Miss Fish and Chips. <gasps> I was the better fish! totally crazy mission we just went on. All of that just to be young again. Speaking of crazy, I've decided on a topic for my expose. The injustice of age criteria in beauty pageants. That's a great idea, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> luxury yurt. Or a digital soccer ball. Or their own signature perfume. Oh, or a double-decker designer dog bed. Those would all be great suggestions, girls. If only my parents weren't the hardest people to shop for on the entire planet. When I say they already have one of everything, I mean it. And their 20th anniversary is tomorrow. Uh, uh, what am I gonna do? Don't worry, Sammy. We'll help you think of something. Woo! How about this personal Manny Petty robot? I mean, hello? If this doesn't scream totally unique gift, I don't know what does. I agree, Clover, which is exactly why I bought it for them last year. Whoa! What's with the noise fest? <laughs> Check it out! A stretch limo! Do you think it's a celeb in the midst of some kind of shopping emergency? Oh, uh, 
something tells me it's even more important than that. Sam's right! It's not a celeb 911, it's a whoop 911! <laughs> Jerry, are you in here? Hello, spies. So lovely to see you again. Wish I could say the same, Jer. But you totally interrupted our quest to find the perfect gift for my parents' anniversary. Uh, sorry to hear that, but I assure you that I'm here on very important business. Namely, to inform you that several high-profile weddings around the globe have been attacked by unseen forces. What do you mean, attacked? See for yourself. This footage is from a wedding that took place in Italy just yesterday. Oh, no way! This is footage from the Kim Star Smashian wedding. Kim Star Smashian? Who's that? Duh! Only like the most famous socialite in the whole wide world. And the prettiest. Which isn't surprising, considering she cleans her face with diamond dust. Speaking of diamonds, check out that rock on her finger. It was discovered on the moon. Which, FYI, is where she met that astronaut hottie of hers. Can you say groom-tastic? <laughs> Whoa, that was seriously scary. Totes, from what I could see, that dream wedding looked more like a nightmare. Indeed. And Whoop has no indication of what may have caused the disturbance. So far, it's a complete mystery. I'll tell you what else is a mystery. Why Kim Star Smashian would wear such a strange wedding dress? I mean, I know fashion, and I've never seen anything like it before. It's way avant-garde. Interesting observation, Clover. According to global shipping records, the dress came from a nondescript warehouse in the Garment District in Paris. And what about the dresses worn by the other brides, Jer? They came from the warehouse as well. It appears we have our first clue, Spies. You're to go to France and check it out right away. <gasps> oh, well, what are you waiting for? Whoop us already! I can't send you just yet. After all, I haven't given you your gadgets. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Today, we have a pair of drill heel boots, an infrared X-ray contact lens, power tweezer squeezers, and fresh on the gadget scene, an escape from trouble bubble wand. Thanks, Jerry. You're quite welcome. I've also arranged for the Whoopa Twa to be available huh? for you once you reach your destination. The Whoopa what? You'll see. Now, goodbye, girls, and good luck. <laughs> Maybe you should do something romantic for your parents' 20th, Sam. Like having their faces appear on the Eiffel Tower during the laser light show. Or you could get someone to paint their picture impressionist style and hang it in the Louvre. Thanks, girls. But I got them that two years ago. <sighs> Sorry, Sammy, but the shop -a -thon will have to wait. Looks like we're almost at the warehouse. <laughs> Good. Let's get to the mission and off the Whoopa Troll before my motion sickness gets any worse. The place where all the bride's dresses were shipped from. Sheesh! So much for putting out the welcome mat. Good thing we're spies. As in, we can let ourselves in. And the drill heel boots are just the thing to make that happen. <laughs> nice work, Alex. Is it me, or is this place not exactly rocking a fashion design vibe? You're right, Clover. It's rocking more of a dusty, smelly vibe. I don't get it. There has to be something we're missing. Well, if there is, the infrared X-ray contact lens will lead us to it. Whoa! No way! What is it, Clover? A hidden room behind that wall. Any chance there's a hidden button to go with it? Isn't there always? Back eye layers are, like, so predictable. Oops! Scratch that! That was, like, totally unexpected! just turned into freaky and weirdy. Tell me about it. I mean, since when are wedding gowns this high tech? No wonder Kim Star Smashian's dress looks so strange in the footage we saw. Girls, check it out. It's a list of all the wedding dresses and who ordered them. Oh, that's awesome, Sammy. Um, why is it awesome, exactly? Because if we can figure out where the next dress is going, we can get one step ahead of our villain, wrap this mission up, and get back to anniversary shopping. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 
It says here that the last dress was shipped to the royal palace in England. The royal wedding? We've got to tell Jerry right away. <laughs> oh! Sounds like we tripped the alarm. We better get out of here. Uh, girls, do you recognize that sound from Professor Plunkett's class? Yeah, it sounds just like a sewing machine. Look out! I know just what to do to put this rude machine in its place. Hey! Woohoo! Way to go, Sam! But hopefully your cowgirl moves work on fabric steamers as well. This is nuts! The whole place is totally rigged to attack! Temperamental equipment. At least it's not a total bust. All of the wrinkles got steamed out of my uni. <sighs> Ladies, how is the mission going? Oh, terrible! We just got attacked by the meanest sewing machine ever. Bummer. On the bright side, we think we know where our baddie's gonna strike next. The royal palace in England. Oh dear. The royal wedding is about to take place there tomorrow. You girls are to go into cover and keep an eye on this high-profile event. Yeah! Jerry, you're a genius! I mean, what better place to meet a prince than a royal wedding? <laughs> and find a wedding crashing baddie, of course. <laughs> very good. I'll add your names to the guest list. Be vigilant, as England is very near and dear to my heart. Cheerio, ladies! We're going to England! And we're on the guest list! British anniversary gifts, here we come! Okay, girls, huddle up. We need to put together fantastic outfits that'll knock them dead at this royal wedding. Trust me, girls. They'll never know what hit them. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is so awesome. I mean, look at all the cute boys. I wonder which ones are royalty. Shouldn't they be wearing crowns or something? Hmm. Do you think maybe the bride and groom would give me one of their gifts? Because people are always getting two of something as a wedding present, right? I don't know, Sam. But right now, we need to keep our eyes peeled for our villain. We should spread out. Hmm. I agree. I'll head this way. We can keep in touch via earcom. Or the grooms. Oh, I'm with the <laughs> party. So nice to meet you. <gasps> hmm. Oh, that cake looks so scrumptiousy. Oh, no one will mind if I just take a little taste. Mm. Oh, yummy. <laughs> for a Prince Charming, not a blue plate special. Guys, I'm not seeing anything strange over here. Me neither. Mm. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's the bride, which means the Prince can't be far behind. saw designs for in the warehouse. Clover's right. I'm gonna get a closer look with the infrared x-ray contact lens. And moving in to give you support. Uh, the things I do for whoop. OMG! This dress is majorly decked out with hidden hostile intentions. Hey! Who 
Who's getting all gropey? Watch the threads! All right, you three. I don't know what you're up to, but you're out of here! <sighs> I'm on the guest list! And going to the royal wedding is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity! I can't miss it! That's where you're wrong, princess. You're so gonna miss it. Look, you've got to listen to us. We think that the bride may be in a lot of danger. You have to let us out of here immediately. Hmm. For being so soft and cuddly, you sure are crabby. Oh. Oh! No way! It can't be! W what are you talking about, Clover? Haven't you been paying attention to fashion design class, Sam? That's Wear a Van, the most famous wedding dress designer ever. So, what are you doing dressed as a guard, Miss Van? Is military chic making a comeback or something? Not exactly. Let's just say I'm here to cause some chaos. <laughs> Wait a sec. Are you the one who weaponized the bride's gown? I sure am. But why would you do such an evil thing? Because I'm tired of no one truly appreciating my work. Once these brides wear my creations, they shove them into a closet, never to be worn again. So I decided to make them the center of attention. Gowns that no one will ever forget. <laughs> okay, so I get the crazy bitter villain lady part, but do the dresses have to look so over the top? Sometimes less is more, if you know what I mean. You try loading electronic weaponry into a wedding gown and have it look good. It's not easy. We're a... Uh... Let us out of here. There's still time to stop this madness. <laughs> the madness has just huh? begun. So long, girls. I've got a wedding to crash. To Experience the wonder that is my latest creation! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted my wedding dress to be special, but I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a minor technical difficulty. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'll get help right away. <gasps> Whoa! That prince is a total wimp! Cross royalty off my dream boy wish list. So, those annoying girls managed to escape. Well, there's no escaping my dress! <laughs> this is my best dismantling of a wedding yet! <laughs> Trouble bubble wand! Ah! Ouch! Awesome! So, you want to play games? Fine, I can play too. How about a little kickball? Oh, so much for escaping from trouble. Oh, tell me about it. That was 
more nauseating than riding on the Wupatwa. <laughs> Come on, girls. If we want to save that bride, we gotta bust a move. Time to put that dress out of commission. With a little help from this cake. <laughs> My agents will take it from here and take Weir Van to the Whoop Containment Facility where she clearly belongs. Thanks, Jerry. And as much as I'd love to stay and chat about your success in defeating fashion evil, I need to gather up the wedding party ASAP so the ceremony can be finished. After all, England is counting on me, and I can't let her down. Whoa. Now there's something you don't see every day. <sighs> Good thing. Seeing Jerry in action like that is way too freaky. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Quick, I need a box so I can get this delivered to my parents before their 20th anniversary is over. <laughs> oh. oh, I think today is yesterday now, Sammy. Their anniversary is huh? donezo. I can't believe it. Where did the time go? The same place it always goes. And us hopping from continent to continent, chasing around twisted baddies. Ah! Oh, this is a lame gift anyway. So much for finding them something unique. Hello? Sam, darling, it's Mommy and Daddy. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Happy anniversary. Listen, I'm sorry that I... Honey, we just wanted to thank you for the amazing anniversary gift. Mm -hmm. An amphibious bicycle tour of London? <laughs> oh. We have never had such a unique present. Uh, did you say bicycle tour of London? You are so good to us, baby. We're about to wrap things up, but thank you again, and we'll see you soon. Mwah. Crazy! I wonder who got them that gift? Consider this my thank you for a mission well done, Jerry. Sweet! Sounds like Jerry really came through for you this time. I'll say, but there is no way I'm gonna blow it again next year, which is why I'm gonna start thinking about a 21st anniversary gift right now. <laughs> Welcome to Sirius Bank. State your business. Well, you can start by accepting this gift. <laughs> Baked it myself, dearie. <laughs> well, if you insist. <gasps> now be a peach and give me all the bank's money. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me while I fetch you the contents of our vault. Luxurious totes. The brand new Mally U Spa Gym is the bomb. And so is the clientele. I've never seen so many hotties in my life. <laughs> All right, losers. 
It's time to quit jogging and take a hike. As in, this is my workout time. Isn't that right, Trent? That's what you keep telling me, Mandy. <laughs> What you say. Yeah, the spa gym works on a first come, first served basis. So if you want to use the treadmill, you and your glutes will just have to wait your turn. What? Wait? Ha! As if. If you girls won't pick up the pace, then I'll just have to do it for you. <laughs> uh oh. We've just progressed to expert mode. <laughs> like if we didn't constantly have to deal with her trying to make our lives miserable. <laughs> oh, keep dreaming, Sammy, because that is so never going to happen. Hey, check it out. The mud bath has a jet function. It's way too whoopy. Right, Sam? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, no, that will never do. Thanks, Jerry. Cha, ah, sweet blowout. You're quite welcome, girls. However, I'm afraid what I have to show you now isn't so sweet. Here you go, ma'am. This is everything we have. What's the problem, Jer? Looks like a bank doing regular bank business to me. It may look that way, Sam, but what you're actually seeing is footage of a robbery in Geneva. And other heists exactly like it have just taken place in London and Vienna. Is it just me, or are these the most pleasant bank robberies ever? Yeah, where's all the usual bad guy angstiness? Whoop isn't certain. All we know is that whatever's going on is most peculiar, and that these crimes seem to have been perpetrated by the same criminal. Huh? Oh. Huh? Another bank is currently being depleted of its funds in Paris. You're to check it out immediately. And as luck would have it, we're right nearby. Huh? Ah! Sorry, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Now, off you go. Ah! Wait, we're about some gadgets to help us get to the bottom of all this. Oh dear, you're right. Ta-ta, spies. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, your gear. Inside this box, you'll find the razor space bangle, the hair pick lock pick, a bolo wrapper belt, and three run for cover hoverboards. Thanks, Jerry. My pleasure. Now prepare for landing. Uh oh, we're coming in fast. Whoa! We need to slow things down. Whoa! We almost ended up permanently part of the Paris pavement. Okay, so how do we get to the ground floor where the bank is? Hmm. Simple. We're gonna use a little combo gadget action. Follow me, ladies. One eraser space bangle coming up. And how can I help you girls today? Where's the thief? Aren't you being robbed right now? <laughs> what gives you that idea? Maybe the fact that your vault is wide open and all of the contents are missing? Yep, this vault has been picked cleaner than the fashion shoe shack after a holiday clearance sale. Hmm. And what's with all the crumbs? It smells like cake. Definitely weird. We should have the crumbs analyzed. No problem. I don't mean analyze them that way, Alex. Hmm? Hear that? Maybe it's our thief. Come on, spies. That's the getaway vehicle making all that noise? Uh. Uh. Thanks for dropping in. Have a pleasant day. Scooter. That sweet ride looks like it could break the land speed record. We need some hover power fast. <laughs> Good thinking, Alex. We're gaining on him. <laughs> this guy is good. But we're better. Let's make our move, girl.
And my hoverboard's been reduced to a pile of toothpicks. Just be thankful you weren't reduced to a pile of toothpicks, Alex. Mm -hmm. All of that, and we're still no closer to figuring out what's going on with these bank robberies. Guess we have no choice but to go back to Mally U and wait for Jerry's crumb analysis. Even though our workout was so rudely interrupted by Mandy earlier, at least we got some exercise in by chasing that baddie. That was a major workout. I am exhausted. What better way to recharge than with a trip to the Malibu Beach for some afternoon sunbathing? Beachy today. Let's pull. Hey girls! What's the haps? <sighs> Whatever, Mandy, like you actually care about what's up with us. Come on, let's head back to the gym. Wait! Don't go! You can have my spot! And my umbrella, and my picnic basket! I mean, you know, after the whole treadmill set, it's the least I could do. And don't worry about my stuff! Uh, you can just return it to me, whatever! Now have fun! How about I drive to rent? She must be also tired from fanning me. Uh, okay, Mandy. Whatever you say. Is it me, or did Mandy have some kind of personality transplant while we were gone? You are right, Clover. She was acting way weird. Ugh. Ew, Mandy. Ugh. Messy much. This blanket is all crummy. Hmm. Looks kind of yummy to me. Alex, you can't eat those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chowing down on random food particles is majorly gross. Plus, those crumbs are nearly identical to the ones we found earlier. They could be <gasps> a clue. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I have some information for you. Upon analyzing the crumbs you sent earlier, I've determined that they contain a most unusual ingredient, a mood-altering substance that makes the eater ultra-agreeable and extremely compliant. Wow! Sounds delightful! It isn't delightful, Alex. It's why the bank people were so freakishly nice. And why Mandy was acting so unmandy like But where did the crumbs come from? Something tells me we're about to find out. Super Sweet Cupcake Company. Never heard of it. Let's see if the Woot mainframe has any intel on the matter. Aha! It appears that a cupcake boutique by that very name just popped up in Beverly Hills. Guess our beach bonanza will have to wait. Back to the mission we go. Whoa, check it out. These cupcakes are all a rage. Hey, girls! So great to see you again. Would you like one of my cupcakes so you don't have to wait in this long line? Uh, no thanks, Mandy. We'll catch you later. Awesome! I'll call you! <laughs> okay, this is truly bizarre. Since when is Mandy so considerate? Or so carb crazy? Beats me. All I know is that for being new on the scene, these cupcakes are selling like hotcakes. Come on, let's go in for a closer look. Amazing! Big time! This is more cupcakes than I've ever seen in my life! Oh, it's so unfair. How am I supposed to concentrate on spying when all I can think about is eating? By reminding yourself that these snacks are the work of someone seriously sinister. Uh, speaking of sinister, does that kooky ride look familiar? No way! It's the same scooter from earlier! Which means that if there was any question the bank robberies and the cupcakes were connected, there definitely isn't now. So all that's left to do is figure out who's behind it all. We all know what the Whoop Handbook says about locked doors. Um, actually, Sammy, 
I never read the handbook. Uh, me neither. I was kind of waiting for the movie version to come out. <sighs> it says that a locked door is a spy's worst enemy. Well, in that case, we should knock it down. Easy, Alex. I have a better way. Hair pick, lock pick, show them what you're made of. for sure. Blinking red lights over a map of the world are never a good sign. Uh, girls? Is it me, or does that thinning gear look way familiar? <gasps> no way! It can't be! <laughs> Hello, my dearies! The, the granny? In the flesh! You were locked in the geriatric branch of the Whoop Containment Facility living out your golden years. Well, I was, but I decided to liberate myself by sweet-talking my way past one of the Whoop guards. <clears throat> you see, I honed my cooking skills in the prison kitchen and came up with the recipe for super sweet cupcakes. <laughs> that makes everyone super sweet so you can take advantage of them. Still smart as a whip, aren't you, Samantha? And now my creation is about to go global. So what is your cupcake master plan anyway? To give everyone in the world a taste of my confections, Clover. And once everyone's tried them, they'll be powerless to stop me from looting every bank on Earth. Then I can get the old gang back together and we can live out our best years on our own private island and warm our old bones, playing shuffleboard and knitting scarves. Wow, Granny. For someone so adorable, you sure are evil. And you sure are cute. You always wear my favorite, Alex. Too bad you leave me no choice but to eliminate you and your little friends. Hiya! <laughs> so delightful to see you again. <laughs> oh my! Oh. Hello? Sorry to bother you, sir, but I was wondering if you've heard from prisoner number 13468B. Why would I hear from her? Isn't she in the containment facility? Well, she asked me to let her out to go to a bingo game, and I haven't seen her since. Just wondering if she won big. Oh, my! <laughs> Baked inside a cupcake. I can't believe this is the way it's going to end. I can't believe we've invested by someone four times our age! I may not be a spring chicken, girls, but I'm as sharp as a tack. Uh oh We gotta do something, like now! Uh, uh, hey! Maybe the bolo wrapper belt can help us out! Get old school. <laughs> Easy, Granny. You don't want to throw your back out. <laughs> Please, the only one who's going to get thrown is you. In that case, I... <laughs> So you want to play rough, eh? Get ready to be mixed into oblivion! hi -ya! Couldn't we have some tea and talk about this, Granny? Sorry, kid. I'm done talking. It's time for action! I couldn't agree more! Oh, even though she 
bake us and trash us into oblivion with killer kitchen utensils. I can't bear to leave her here. Me neither. After all, she said I'm her favorite. The granny? Thanks for helping me escape, girls. See you on the flip side. Well, it didn't take her long to drop the little old lady routine. Hey, granny, how about a taste of your own medicine? Uh. Mm. Delicious. Thank you, Alex. Nice job, Alex. Way to go. Your cupcake baking days are over, Granny. You're headed back to Whoop. Sounds lovely. I've grown quite fond of the containment facility. Now there's one baddie I'm not sad to see go. She can be so manipulative. Just like her cupcakes. <gasps> Luckily, the effects of the Granny's cupcake should wear off soon. I'm just bummed I never got to try one of them. They look so delicious and sweet. Don't worry, Alex. You're sweet enough already. Hmm. Ugh! I hope I never see another cupcake as long as I live. I agree. Why do baddies have to ruin everything that is good and pure in the world? <laughs> Look out, losers! Or you're gonna become part of the Mandy Super Highway! Yeah! Oh, looks like Mandy is back to her old mean self again. That didn't take long. Yeah! Don't mind if I do. Yeah! Who built this faulty cupcake tower? Fred! Get me out of here, Ace! Yes, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm glad to see the old Mandy back. Having a nice Mandy around was just too freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, have you been waiting out here in the cold all night for me to finish practice? You must be my biggest fan. Uh, here, let me sign an autograph. on nanotechnology and its potential to affect the world of crop germination right here at Mali U? My dad? What are you talking about? Hmm. Hey, my dad's guest lecturing on nanotechnology and its potential to affect the world of crop germination right here at Mali U. So I heard. Twice. I'm guessing this visit is a surprise? Is it the pleasant kind? Oh, totally. My dad is super nice. Maybe a little too super nice. There's my Alexander the Great, looking more <laughs> beautiful than ever. And I've got a special little something for my Pally Alley and her friendly uh, Wendy's. Dad, it's so great to see you. And thanks for the fake fingernails. <laughs> it's my latest invention in supersonic nanotechnology. When you take a bite, a sonic boom blasts, scaring everyone off. Especially mm -hmm. bad boys chasing my Alex. <laughs> I was inspired by how Alex always sucked on her thumb when she was little. Isn't she the cutest? <laughs> Dad, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll save some doting for when I introduce you at my lecture, which I should be preparing for right now. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Now do you see what I mean by too nice? I think it's nice, and I think it's even nicer outside, so let's hit the beach. Huh? Whoa! What's with the suddenly stormy weather? It's getting chilly and cloudy. 
Sorry about the chilly reception, but there's an even chillier occurrence. People around the world are being found frozen in blocks of ice. Freezing people in ice? That is cold. I concur, and it's up to you to find out who is behind this recurring event. Then we better stop speaking and start gadgeting so we can check things out. Yes, and speaking of checking things out, I eagerly await your father's lecture on nanotechnology, Alex. I just hope I'll be able to get a seat. Just one? I'm sure you can have all of them. If it helps, you can have mine. Okay. Less joking, more gadget giving. Today, I have the Go Go Boot figure skates, which allow even novice skaters to do high speed figure eights. A weather mood ring, able to detect climatological systems from great distances. And a curling iron fist, a high tech glove with great power and even greater heat. Oh, whoa! These are intense! Intense indeed. You'll be prepared for the unexpected. Like, for example. <laughs> Jerry send us here. I don't see frozen people, but I see a few hotties. All right, ladies, where to first? Oh! Oh! Clover, focus! <laughs> Alex, focus! That's all weird. And look at him! Stuck in a giant ice cube and making him wear that? Now that's just cruel. <gasps> that's Yuri Petrihanov, one of the world's top skaters. What's he doing here? He must be in Groove on Ice. How did he get there? We better unfreeze him and ask. Hello? Dad, I can barely hear you. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. I was just redecorating your room. What? No need to thank me. But you do need to be in the front row at my lecture so I can proudly show you off. Okay, Dad. Just don't break anything. <gasps> Else. Huh? Follow her. <laughs> this may not be the time to tell you. I've never skated before. <laughs> Me neither. I've had a lesson or two. ones. All that secret skater left behind was weird slice marks on the ground and a pile of ice crystal covered sequins. I'll grab some ice crystals and sequins and send them to Jerry for analysis. Well, I've had enough winter sports for one day. <gasps> Time for some fun in the sun. It's so cold. I don't know. Attention, students of Mali U. Due to the cold temperatures, we have canceled all outdoor classes. We have also closed the Mali U beach, and the campus water fountain is now a bonfire pit. Well, at least the students are making the best of it. What a fashion disaster! We were supposed to be making swimwear, now we're making faux fur coats. My lesson plans are ruined. Ruined! I still got it. Geeky, goofy, great! Too bad my dad had to visit during such freezing weather. He must be having a terrible time. 
I am having the best time. I was just roasting marshmallows at the bonfire, and I was about to join the Mally U Polar Bear Club for a dip in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> I'm loving college so much, I'm thinking of enrolling. That way we can spend even more time together as school chums. Wow, yeah, imagine that. Oh, and are you going to the party tonight? I hear it's going to be off the rack. You mean off the hook? Well, that too. And it's being thrown by a very lovely young lady. Her name is, uh, Mandy. <laughs> no! Thanks. Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, what am I gonna do about my dad? First, we have to solve this weird global climate change. Then we can work on your daddy issues. I'm gonna call Jerry. Hmm? Wow, that hologram is really lifelike. Mm -hmm. That's because it is real. I'm here to get a good seat for your father's lecture. Well, I hope you don't give us a lecture when you find out that we didn't find out who put those two figure skaters on ice. All the top figure skaters have been frozen. But why? Good question, Spies. But first start with, but where? There is an unusual cold front in a remote island in the South Pacific. Almost as unusual as the cold front happening right here in the Pacific Northwest. You think there's a connection? That's for me not to know and you to find out. Mm. This is very serious, Spies. If the temperature around the world keeps dropping, the impact on the environment could be enormous. Almost as enormous as that bonfire. Are they roasting marshmallows? <laughs> oh, I love college life. <laughs> if your dad does enroll, maybe he can share a dorm room with Jerry. <laughs> According to the Weather Mood Ring, the precise location of the cold front is a tiny tropical island in Micronesia. <laughs> Whoa! You sure this is Micronesia? Looks more like Iceland. I know! I've never seen this much ice on a tropical island before. Well, if you're looking for a camera to capture the moment, don't worry. They're everywhere. I wonder who's behind all this. From the looks of the zigzaggy skate tracks, it's the same person we were chasing at the groove. I say we follow those tracks. remote South Pacific Island where there are no ice rinks, my unique self-taught style has been ignored by the figure skating community. I bet if they saw what you just did, they wouldn't ignore you. Silence! I have decided to get my revenge by not only freezing my competitors in blocks of ice, thanks to the cool air-emitting machine that I built into my very evil ice skates, but by forcing the world to pay attention to me! You can't make the world pay attention to you. Trust me, Mandy tries all the time. I can. With my bigger, better weather balloon control global ice making machine that will turn the Pacific Ocean into the ultimate ice stage for the world to watch me perform. And if I don't get a perfect 10, the world will be one giant ice cube! <laughs> Well, that plan took forever for you to tell, but it'll only take a second for it to fail. Huh? Spies, I just wanted to get a briefing before the lecture started. Well, we have good news. We know who's freezing figure skaters. Unfortunately, I have bad news. It's not just the South Pacific where there's a strange cold front, but there's severely frigid frost coverings in New York, Rome, Paris, and in the Mali U Lecture Hall. So, Isolene is not just a terrible skater. She's a terrible evil plotter. The ice-making weather balloon must be malfunctioning. If we don't stop her, the world's gonna freeze. And that is so not cool. I'd help you in person, 
but I just can't miss this discussion on how carbon nanotubes in the agar medium sprouted up to two times faster than control seed, a growth enhancement that has enormous potential on plant-based biofuel production. So I leave the fate of the world to you. First things first, let's break this bowl. Huh. <laughs> ah! Impressive escape, but wait till you see this! Ah! Let the show begin! Is she supposed to look like a graceful glider? Because she looks like a flailing fish. I'm not sure what's worse, the world freezing over or having to see that. Good thing she's an easy act to follow. Time to lace up the go-go figure skate spies and get her! We've been skating in circles. Did I, Selena, just vanish in the ice mist? <gasps> ah! oh, maybe she went to find another figure skating hero to add to her hall of shame. Look! I don't believe it. I'm seeing stars. That's Brian Girl Tano and Elvis Ploigo and Kirk Greening. And you are about to join my frozen skater collection. Ow! My tongue is frozen. <laughs> Greetings, my captive audience. You're in for a special treat. The grand finale! Or should I say, your grand finale? <laughs> We've got to get out of here and stop that storm before the world freezes over. The curling iron fist could get us out of here, but I can't reach it. Forget high-tech gadgets, girls. If we're gonna make crushed ice out of these cubes, we need to get this ice block party started. <laughs> My weather mood ring says the Earth's temperature is dropping fast. If it keeps going down at this rate, the Earth will be frozen in 60 seconds. So, is it just gonna end like this? Bite your tongue. Let's crush these cubes on three. One, two, three! This ice is rock solid. All we did was chip it. And a nail. <gasps> the supersonic nano fingernail. Maybe a sonic boo can blast this out. Price to pay to save the world. Look, 
looks like you could use an extra pair of feet. I don't believe it. I'm skating with Elvis Ploigo. This is the greatest day of my life. Assuming the world doesn't end in five seconds. Check it out! Isolene is a giant hockey puck. Ah! <laughs> More like a flying saucer. Good thing we have blades to clip her wings. Ah! Sharp skates, sharper skaters. Ah! Ah! You have to save me! If the ice breaks, I'll sink because I can't swim! You can't swim? You can't skate? Did it ever occur to you that maybe athletics isn't for you? Uh-oh. Ah! Save the world! Turn off your weather balloons! I can't! You broke my skates! Someone has to fly up and do it! Good idea! Hey, Elvis, can you give me a lift? Hmm. Yeah! What way to stick the landing! A perfect 10! Thanks! You're not so bad yourself. How about a little pear skating? Sorry, Clover, but I don't want to be late for my dad's lecture. So I guess this is goodbye. We'll just have to skate off into the sunset. concludes my lecture. I hope you found it stimulating. Mm. Oh, I must have fallen asleep. Excuse me, young lady, may I borrow your notes? Mm. All this says is Mandy is a hottie. What more do you need to know? <gasps> Dad, that was amazing. Yes, it was amazing. I have found a cure for insomnia. If anyone has trouble sleeping, they can just play my lecture. Hey, you're the best prof and the smartest scientist and the greatest dad a girl could ask for. And I'm so lucky to have such a doting daddy and... <laughs> Here, Jer. <laughs> Jerry, are you crying over Alex and her dad? They are really sweet. Yeah, I'm not crying over them. I'm crying because I slept through Dr. Kasoya's lecture, and I was so looking forward to it. <laughs> there, there, Jer Jer. I am pleased you're restoring our palace to its original splendor. Trust me, you're in good hands. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll go in and get a feel for the place. I have to agree with Mandy's critique. This just isn't a happy fashion moment, Clover. If you want to pass the course, you really need to up the wow factor on the midterm. And when it comes to your midterm, which will be a super fab runway event showcasing everyone's most fashionabulous design, I only give out one A. 
competition, as in, we'll just see who achieves fashion greatness and who's a fashion disaster. <laughs> Later, loser! <laughs> That's it! There's no way I'm gonna let Mandy outdesign me! It's game on! Don't worry, all you have to do is come up with a great look for the midterm runway and you'll totally ace the semester. Yeah, and put Mandy in her place. <gasps> hey, check it out! That's weird. You know, since there aren't any windows open in the room. That's because this isn't ordinary fabric, it's whoop fabric. Which means it's time to get our spy on! <laughs> Hello, ladies. So lovely to see you again. Jerry! This is so not cool. We have fashion design midterms coming up, and I need to get an A. Well, I'd be happy to help you, Clover. After all, you may have noticed that I'm quite the fashion bug. Ugh, yeah? Maybe in the 70s. Now stop joking, Jared. This is serious. <clears throat> Very well, then. The sooner you get going on your mission, the sooner you can get back to your schoolwork. So what is our mission, Jer? It turns out that several of the world's most prominent interior designers have vanished without a trace. And it's up to you three to get to the bottom of it. Without a trace, huh? That's not much to go on. That's why I've summoned you girls. After all, you're the best. <sighs> oh, this is one time when I wish we were the second best. And now for your gadgets. Today we have, from the Whoop Chameleon line, the amazing chameleon tongue, and some blend away background spray. Neat! Glad you approve. We also have the Whoop Fiber Analyzing Lint Brush, the Parasol Brick Wall, the Slice Through Anything Diamond Cowgirl Boot Spurs, and last but not least, the IPPV, or Insanely Powerful Portable Vacuum, helpful in cleaning up messes both large and small. Thanks, Jerry. You're quite welcome. Now, goodbye, spies, and good luck. <laughs> This is so boss. I mean, who even knew Whoop had non-humans on staff? I think I'm gonna call him Z. We're getting close to the Taj Mahal. According to Ingrid Yardstick's office, one of the designers had disappeared. That's where she was last seen. <laughs> huh. Do you think Zeke ran out of gas? I don't think so, Alex. Looks like this is our stop. Awesome! Bye, Zeke. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> I won't be using any of my outfit in my mentor design after all. Okay, spies, time to spread out and look for clues. I don't know, Sammy. This place is huge. Trying to find a missing designer here will be like trying to find a hair on Jerry's head. Maybe not. I mean... Hello? If these don't scream missing designer, I don't know what does. What's so special about a random pair of glasses? They aren't random. They're incredibly stylish designer specs. Whoa, you're right. The glasses Ingrid's wearing in the photo Jer showed us match these exactly. Yes! Come on, girls. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, great. Now what? Mm -hmm. Guess we'll just have to bust out our amazing chameleon tongues. <laughs> kind of cool, yet kind of freaky. Bomb. I mean, I'm no design genius, 
but I kind of thought the Taj Mahal would be a little less tacky and a little more classy. Which means someone must have redesigned it. You mean someone like our missing designer? I'm not sure, but one thing's for certain, she was definitely here. Her initials are on this measuring tape. Hey! What is? Whoa! Whoa! Glasses and measuring tape. Most peculiar indeed. Oh dear. It seems several more famous interior designers have just gone missing. Uh oh. We better go find them. This is getting out of hand. I agree. <laughs> but first, I need to use this fancy lip brush to get these nasty carpet fibers off my spy uni. Oh, <laughs> oh my. The fibers are made from the cells of the carnivorous Dionea muscopula plant, commonly known as the Venus flytrap. The only known source is from a flooring warehouse on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Whoa! Where to find a clue, Clover? Uh, my pleasure, but how does knowing where the flytrappy carpet fibers originated from help us? Because if we find the source, we might find our villain, right, Jer? It's definitely a possibility. In fact, it appears that someone just bought a ton of this exact carpeting, and it's currently being delivered to its destination as we speak. Really? Delivered how? By semi-truck. If you hang on, I can have us hovering over the vehicle in mere moments. This is it, girls. Happy landing! Uh, oh no! It's Professor Pumpkin! Maybe I should just toss my phone. You have to talk to him, Clover! Remember, your grade depends on it! Hello? Clover! Just checking in to see how your midterm is coming along. Remember, I expect a mind-blowing extravaganza of prancing fabric on that runway. Oh, uh, hi! Yeah! It's uh, going great, Professor Plunkett. Can you hear the sewing machine? I've been working all afternoon. Ah! to hear that. After all, when it comes to fashion, no pain, no gain. Yep, I'm definitely feeling the pain. Thanks for the call. See you soon. <sighs> what now? It's a text from who? One guess. Ignore her, Clover. We've got bigger issues to deal with. Yeah, like holding on to this trap. <laughs> Did we make it? Are we here? <gasps> no way! We're at the White House! <gasps> I can't believe I'm saying this, but how do we avoid being seen by the super cute security guards at the front door? Mm. A quick hit of blend away background spray should do the trick. Awesome! Tradition and awesome presidenty stuff. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, but it kind of begs the question: Why is the president letting two thousand yards of tacky seafoam blue, made with killer plants carpeting, get delivered here? Isn't that like an impeachable offense? 
I sure hope the kitchen staff keeps some peanuts on hand. I've got a real craving tonight. I want to get the shade historically correct. Don't you worry about that one bit. Your interior decorating services are no longer needed here. <laughs> Whoever ordered that carpeting must be here to receive it. The only question is where. Guys, hold on. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Uh... <laughs> Sounds like straddling noises to me. Either that or those peanuts aren't agreeing with the president. Let's go! Like it or not, I'm the new interior designer on this project. Now, to give this place the presidential makeover it deserves. Ah! Oh no! It happened again! No need to thank me. My work is its own reward. Finally, this building has a cutting edge style that will be the envy of the world over. And who exactly are you? Besides a lady who apparently doesn't own a mirror. Oh, I'm Maggie Trendset. You haven't heard of me? Uh, uh no. no. I'm formerly the most underappreciated interior designer in the world. But now, my notoriety is going global. So how did you even get in here? And the Taj Mahal, for that matter. That was easy. All I had to do was hide within my oh-so-special carpeting. Oh, it's special, all right. But I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve by barging into places like this and completely trashing them. I'd grown tired of being rejected for design jobs, so I've decided to force my work on those who rejected me. First, the Taj Mahal and the White House. Now, the world! Let's give Maggie a Major League makeover, spies. Yeah, let me know how that works out for you. the scenery. You'll be here for a while. I can't believe we're being beaten up by rugs and beanbag chairs. This has got to be an all-time low. Wish me luck. I've got an entire world to redesign. <laughs> we need to do something. Sooner or later, Maggie is going to get around to our dorm room and we're going to be the laughing stock of Mally U. <gasps> Wait, I've got it. The slice through anything diamond cowgirl boost spurs. Give it a try. And the sooner the better. <laughs> oh, at least this rug was nice enough to break my fall. Hold on, Alex. <laughs> Thanks, Clover. <laughs> the designer! <laughs> <laughs> Gratitude. Now let's go lower the boom on Maggie. I guess Maggie isn't just an interior designer anymore. She's graduated to exteriors. <gasps> this is nuts. We better send Jerry an alert right away. Look, it's Maggie. <laughs> let's get her, spies. Hey, girls! Don't you just love what I've done with the place? As if the only space you should be allowed to decorate is the inside of a jail cell. Not gonna happen! Clover! We need to turn this thing around and uncover Sammy! Quick! Run the opposite way! Is definitely your color. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. It's time to turn the tables on Maggie. My designs are edgy and dangerous, girls. I tried to warn you. The president has now evacuated the White House. <laughs> Mr. President, I can do wonders for your limo! Let me show you!
In that case, why don't you check out my color wheel throwing stars? <laughs> Luckily, we've got the parasol brick wall to help us out. Way to work the gadgets, Clover. Speaking of gadgets, let's see what the IPPV is made of. Oh, oh, ah! oh, oopsie. <laughs> Time to throw in the trowel, Maggie, because your designing days are done -zo. Wow, Jer wasn't kidding. That's one powerful vacuum. Oh, stop! No! No, you're ruining everything! Oh. Double oopsie. Excellent work, Spies. We'll take Maggie to the containment facility where she clearly belongs. And what about the other missing designers like Ingrid Yardstick? You'll be happy to hear that Whoop has found and freed them. Huh? Another job well done, Jerry. Thank you, Mr. President. Happy to be of service. And thank you too, girls. Have a nice day. <laughs> no way! Oh, OMG! The President just spoke to us! He did indeed. Of course, exciting as it is, this isn't information you'll be allowed to share with your schoolmates. Oh, no! With all the spying we've been doing today, I haven't had a chance to work on my assignment. I'm so gonna flunk out of fashion design class. Don't worry, Clover. You'll think of something. Yeah, and I'm sure whatever it is, it will be great. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> yes, <Ooh>. very chic. <laughs> Now that's how you rock a sombrero, sister. Okay, people, make way for the catwalk queen. <gasps> Just gorgeous, Mandy. If I was the fashion police, I would write you a ticket for being fabulous. All right, Clover, this is it. Now work it like you mean it. <gasps> Avant-garde! In all my years, that is truly the most audacious thing I've ever seen! And I love it! A, A, A! Yes! <laughs> but that's so fair! I'm the best! Yeah, the best at losing! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gonna be late for my job interview. Mm. Hey! Huh? <sighs> You're really funny, lady. Got it, Mandy. So, what should I do about it? Duh! I want you to work on getting me a bigger room! Pronto! Go! <laughs> what gives? Um, hey, Mandy, we were just, uh, practicing for the Malu skydiving team. Later! Let's bring her to our office immediately. <laughs> Whatever I'm accused of doing, I didn't do it! Unless it's something that makes me famous, then I definitely did do it. <laughs> we aren't here to accuse you of anything, Mandy. We'd like to offer you an opportunity. 
an opportunity to spy on Sam, Clover, and Alex. Spy on Sam, Clover, and Alex? Why would I want to do that? Because if you help us out by keeping an eye on them, we'd be willing to reward you. Uh, you mean, like, by giving me that totally rad penthouse suite the girls live in? Huh? Come through for us and it's yours. <gasps> into Mandy like that. Yeah, what a way to end a mission. Whatever, I'm just stoked to try out my new makeup. 10, 16 a.m. This is Monday reporting. The brunette is swabbing her ear. The redhead's tweezing her brows. And Blondie looks like she's getting ready for a much needed face fix. Say hello to clowny girls. A totally chic, just on the market makeup for men and women. <laughs> Oh, no. Please tell me that's not what I think it is. Yo, what's with all the steam? Hey, where'd those lizards go? Oh. Uh. I can't believe you whooped us again so soon, Jer. We barely had time to wash off the last mission. Oh. <clears throat> and P.S., you could have waited until you were done grooming yourself. I'm sorry, spies but I have a most curious assignment for you. It seems that a diplomat from France was to meet with a diplomat from China, and, well, it's probably best if I just show you. Awesome! I love clowns! <laughs> I assure you, it was anything but awesome, Alex. In fact, the Chinese diplomat was quite insulted. As a result, relations between the countries have become strained. Well, I can see why. That makeup is a major insult to good taste. I'm afraid it gets worse. A clown-faced fireman dumped buckets of confetti on a real fire in London, which is why I'm sending you three to check it out right away. <gasps> and to help you in your endeavors, I give you the Hair Pick Block Pick, the Porto Lab 9000, a giant soap bubble balloon, high-powered faux earring magnets, and a high-velocity atomizer. Thanks, Jerry. You're quite welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my comb-over while you investigate what happened to that diplomat. Whoa! You know, to the diplomat lady with unicycle and the creepy clown face. Hmm. Uh, achoo! 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 Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a schedule to keep. Achoo! Rats! It's locked! No worries, the hair pick lock pick should do the trick. Usual. Huh. This doesn't look like the clown makeup we saw her wearing in the video. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Huh? No way! This is Clownique, the brand I just bought. Ooh, I think I'll borrow a little. No, Clover, don't do it! Clown-tastic! What are you talking about, Alex? Uh... <gasps> uh... <gasps> ah! My face! <laughs> Don't worry, Clover. We'll figure out what to do. <gasps> what are you doing in here? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, dear. That, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh no! What are we gonna 
do? I mean, I can't get captured looking this way! Now hang on! <laughs> ha! That'll teach him to laugh at me! When it comes to interns, you really put the fail in failure, Trent! But, since you had a clever idea to make it up to me and you got me the keys to the girls' penthouse, I'm willing to let it slide. You can leave now. Wait for me downstairs! <sighs> yes, Mandy. Yes! Soon all of this luxurious square footage will be mine, mine, mine! It's those girls! Time to get my spy on! Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, now I went and scared the dorm janitor. Come on, Clover. I'll help you try and wash the clown ink off. Uh. Hmm. Good idea. In the meantime, I'm gonna get gadgety. Uh. According to the Portal Lab 9000, the makeup contains an incredibly rare luminescent seaweed found only in Japan. Weird. Hmm. But what are we supposed to do with that info? Uh, Whoop has tracked a huge shipment of that exact type of seaweed to a location in Tokyo. Well then, I guess we know where our next stop should be. Are you kidding? As long as I'm Clover the Clown Face Girl, I'm never leaving this house again. Except maybe to hit a giant shoe sale. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Girls, so glad I was able to catch you. Whoop has just received more reports of unexpected clown faces <gasps> popping up around the world. I'm afraid the situation has gotten quite serious. <laughs> oh my! Well, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Thanks, Jer. Like I really needed a reminder that I have a giant mouth and a bright red nose. <laughs> Don't worry, Jerry. We're on the case. All we need is for you to whoop us to Tokyo. Oh, no problem. I'll have you there in a jiffy. Huh? Here we go again! <laughs> Not without me, you don't! Don't you me! Ew! Why does the most direct route always have to be the grodiest? Hey, girls! Huh? Check it out! should be right around here somewhere. Huh? Clover! What are you doing? I don't know. All of a sudden, I have this insatiable urge to juggle. Spy now, juggle later. Hey! and seaweed shipments. Yes! Ha! Cool! <laughs> a sushi restaurant? No offense, but I think your spy work might be a little off there, Sammy. Oh, that's okay. My tummy's rumbling for some grub anyway. Sorry, Alex, your tummy will have to wait. Gee, that looks just like Clown Eek. Only one way to find out. Either this is the weirdest sushi joint I've ever seen, or we've just stumbled onto a secret lair. I'm going with option number two. But it still doesn't explain why someone would be going to such great lengths to get people to wear clown makeup. <laughs> What 
are you girls doing in my restaurant? Wow! Talk about stretched out! She must have a serious yoga routine. A better question would be, what is all this clown stuff doing in your so-called restaurant? Silence! No, I'm not going to be silent, considering you're the one behind this nasty clown makeup on my face that won't come off. What's your deal, lady? I mean, besides wearing the most awesome wig I've ever seen. Oh! My name is Bozette Slapstick, and I am the world's greatest clown. If that's true, then how come we've never heard of you? Huh? Because sadly, clowns aren't as popular as they used to be with TV and movies and video games. People have found other ways to entertain themselves and don't care much about us anymore. Go! <laughs> Which is why I've devised my special makeup to force them to appreciate us. But that's not true, Bozette. All sorts of people love clowns, especially kids. It's just evil clowns they have issues with. And speaking of evil, why would you turn a perfectly nice sushi joint into a sinister lair? I needed to put it somewhere. And this place has the best California huh? rolls in town. <gasps> okay, enough clowning around. This lame old plan ends now. This is unreal. Can you say viral internet hit? Uh, as if this makeup didn't make me look goofy enough. My poor face can only take so much. I don't know, Clover. They say that facial massage is good for your skin. <sighs> so, you think you can take down a trained and experienced clown that easily, huh? Don't worry, Bozette. We'll make sure you never get away with this. <sighs> as soon as I get whosever foot this is out of my ear. <laughs> oh, I will get away with it, because the air in that box will only last a few more minutes. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to move to phase two of my plan. Accelerating the clownification of the Earth by spraying down the rest of the world with my makeup! <laughs> and with more and more people forced to appreciate clowns, we'll finally return to our former glory! <laughs> what do we do now? We're packed in here tighter than sardines! Looks like you girls have a whole secret life, just like the Dean's thought. Mandy? What are you doing here? Who cares? Just get us out of this thing. Ha! Not a chance. I need to get this awesome footage back to the Dean's. It's gonna land me your penthouse, if not all of West Coast Hall. Nah. Trent, get me on a flight home ASAP. First class, of course and move all of my stuff into the penthouse, like immediately. Mandy is moving on up. I can't believe she, forget Mandy. We need to get out of this box before all the air is gone. What gadgets do we have left? Besides the high powered faux earring magnets, not much. Hmm. Wait, that can work. Alex, can you reach one of them? I think so. Uh, then what? Hold the earring near where the crank is on the outside of the box, then rub it in a circular motion so the magnet turns the crank. Yeah! I always thought being a jack-in-the-box would be a cool job. But after that, I'm gonna have to reconsider. Good choice. Now let's find that clown lady and fix my face. Guys, follow that clown car!
gonna spray down the rest of the world with Cloud Eek. Come on, spies, let's ground this bozo. <laughs> <laughs> Guys have more traffic than the streets of LA. That's it, Bozette. Land this car immediately. You really need to learn to have more fun. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that is so immature. <laughs> huh? Enough messing around, clown lady. You are giving the world a makeup a really bad name. <laughs> <laughs> You're no match for the hilarity of my cloud power girls. We need to think of something fast or else Bozette's gonna make clowns out of all of us. Okay, girls. Time to join my insane clown parade. It's now or never, guys. What's left in our gadget bag of tricks? Just one giant soap bubble balloon. <clears throat> the spy in me thinks that's a great idea. But the clown in me is so excited I can hardly contain myself. May I? Go for it, Clown Clover. <laughs> I so couldn't deal with a world full of clowns. Trust me, being one is no walk in the park either. Now let's get out of here so Jerry can find me a cure for clown faceitis. Okay, Deans, I have got that dirt. Not only are those girls international spies who jet set around the world, they also were tangling with a crazy clown lady in Japan who had a secret lair in the back of a sushi restaurant and a teeny tiny little car she drove around in. And she was trying to turn everyone in the entire world into clowns with her evil makeup and oh hey, what gives? <gasps> wow, that's quite a story you came up with, Mandy. I especially like the clown makeup prop. Very amusing. But clearly, we'll have to find someone who takes our mission a little more seriously. Now we've got work to do. Show yourself out, please. But, but, it's all true! I did what you wanted! I earned that pet house! The only thing you've earned is a place on our watch list. Remember, we'll be keeping our eyes on you. <laughs> so the world is back to normal. Whoop retrieved Bozette at the space station, and now Mandy's scheme has been thwarted. Spies one, bad guy zero. I just have one last request, Jer. But what's that? When you erase Mandy's memory, can you please leave her clown makeup on? Just for a little while? <laughs> <laughs> Aha! The prisoners have arrived, which means we're ready to test Whoop's latest transport prototype. You got it, Chair. And if anything goes wrong, I'll be there to handle it. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> this is so hard. How am I supposed to decide who to redate? Uh, did you just say redate? Totes! I'm going back through all my exes to see if there's anyone worth reconsidering. I don't know, Clover. Revisiting the past is never a good idea. But what if I let Mr. Perfect slip through my fingers? Someone like... Bruce! Um, the same Bruce from two years ago who brought you a pizza instead of flowers on your first date? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, 
please. Everyone makes mistakes, Sammy. Clover? Is that you? Yes! Yes, it is totally me. So, like, I was thinking it's been a while, but we really should go to a movie or something. I wish I could, but I'm meeting with the board of directors of my video game company this morning, and this afternoon my limo's picking me up. Board of directors? A limo? Funny. You breaking up with me was actually the best thing that ever happened to me. I really started getting my act together. So, thanks, Clover. Ouch. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Are you kidding? This is great! Now I just gotta catch one of my exes before he hits it big! <laughs> huh? <gasps> Incoming! <laughs> Have you guys noticed Jerry's office looks way bigger? Huh? huh? Speaking of bigger, what kind of mission needs a blimp? Well, what do you think, ladies? I think we're in for a very slow speed day, which, FYI, totally cuts into my redating schedule. The Whoop Blimp is anything but slow, Clover. You should arrive at Whoop Island in no time. Whoop Island? As in the containment facility for the totally baddest of baddies? That's the one. Now, you'll be transporting several highly dangerous criminals, but I assure you, it will be completely routine. Well, what about the fact that none of us knows how to fly one? Hello? You won't have to. Thanks to the latest in Whoop technology, the blimp flies itself. And now for a few gadgets just in case. Huh? <gasps> Today you'll have three laser lipsticks. The wristwatch shrinkinator, some suction cup bottom go-go boots, the diamond ring-mounted mini 3D projector, and finally a few highly concentrated onion powder grenades. Ta-ta! <laughs> now. Off you go! Ah! <gasps> 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 yeah! Whoa! Who knew a dirigible could be so chic? Cha! This chair is like sitting on a giant marshmallow! Welcome huh? aboard the Whoop Blimp. We offer a wide variety of juices, smoothies, and healthy snacks, as well as a selection of in-flight fashion magazines from around the globe. Wow! Okay, we have totally got to get more blimp missions. Speaking of missions, we should check to see if the prisoners are... Prisoners secured and accounted for. Arrival at Whoop Island will be in 56 minutes. Now, sit back and enjoy your ride. Awesome! This gives me the perfect chance to reconnect with my next ex. Jason? Hmm. Hi, Jason. Guess who? Um, I'm not sure. Duh, it's Clover from yoga aerobics class. Clover? I, uh, yeah, I don't, uh... You know, Clover. The killer downward dog. Oh, oh yeah, you're that way cute brunette, right? Brunette? As if I'm a totally natural blonde. Okay, maybe you guys were right about looking up exes. Time to just chill. Ah! Whoa! What was that? We have encountered unexpected turbulence. Please remain in your seats. <gasps> ah! Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll let Jerry know what's happening. Jerry, it's Alex! Can you hear me? The situation is gnarly. I repeat, gnarly! Uh, sorry, Alex, uh, you're breaking up. Uh, did you say something about barley? Never mind. So much for the blimp flying itself, spies. We've got to take over. <laughs> With a little help from our lipstick lasers. <laughs> Good thinking, Sam. But I sure hope this thing comes with an instruction booklet. What do all these stupid lights mean anyway? Anything now, the power's out on the ship. We'll have to do this manually. <laughs> Phew. 
Autopilot re-engaged. Please sit back and enjoy your ride. Enjoy our ride? Okay, I don't care if that is a computer. It is way too mellow. Girls, we've got a problem. <laughs> we are now experiencing a security breach alert. It is my pleasure to inform you that the prisoner containment pods are opening. Uh-oh! This can't be good! Well, well. If it isn't the nitwit of nails. Eve Mont Blanc, still overwhelming your enemies with the stink from your shoes. <laughs> Knock it off, you two! Unless you'd rather fight each other than take this opportunity to make our escape. I knew agreeing to transport baddies was a bad idea. It just always ends in disaster. It's okay. I've got the security camera in the prisoner hold up again. Let's see what we're dealing with. <laughs> Where'd they go? I don't know. But it looks like the only way out of the hold is through a hatch in the ceiling that leads to that room over there. <laughs> They're still sealing. Ah! It's Manny Wong! Run! Ah! Oh, great! Eve on Blonde's here, too! How many baddies are we dealing with? That would be three. <laughs> <laughs> You're Violet Vanderfleet, that totally freaky florist! That's right. And I have a special delivery just for you. <laughs> Teamwork. I never thought much of it before, but hmm, here we are. Thank you, my razor talent friend. Just goes to show, if we all combine our powers, the world is ours. Glad you feel that way. Because my heart was once broken, I want to cause a worldwide allergy to love attack with my sneezing peonies. Interesting. But I have a better idea. We paint everyone's nails with my super growing Nail Accelerate. Their nails will grow so long and heavy, they'll no longer be able to use their hands or feet. <laughs> I've got two words for you. Loafers of doom. My signature slip-ons will tighten painfully around the feet and be impossible to take off, forcing everyone who ever dared make fun of my shoe designs to never be able to take them off! Uh, Ill-fitting designer shoes? That's like the cruelest idea ever! Whoop Island estimated time of arrival, 30 minutes. Whoop Island, eh? Maybe we'll be able to implement all of our plans. Huh? Oh. Don't you see? Whoop Island is packed with other baddies. If we release them, Whoop will be so busy capturing them all that we'll be free to have our revenge on the world! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is majorly bad. We've got to do something. Say, hmm? anyone know what time it is? Time for us to get digested by a giant daffodil? Nope. It's time to get small. Wristwatch Shrinkinator, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I've always wanted to be a size negative 15. Come on, this way. Ah! Hey, watch where you're stepping. You almost... Oopsie. Oh, how cute. Get him! Girls, I've dealt with this evil shoe villain before. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Nice work, Clover. <laughs> you two, go find them. I'll work on the Whoop Prison release codes and steer this tub. <laughs> okay, we have less.
less than 30 minutes to take back control of this blimp. It's them! Girls, I thought you were the escaped prisoners. But what are you even doing here? Jerry asked me to hide out in the blimp, you know, in case of an emergency. Check up one for the boss man. A good idea for once. Hey there, Clover. It's been a while. You're looking hmm, interesting these days. Why, thanks, Blaine. You look interesting too. Huh. Another X. <laughs> Oopsie, my bad. Whoop Island estimated time of arrival, 15 minutes. Mm. Manny, Eve, and Violet are going to release all the prisoners. If we don't stop them, it's a bad day for the world. If I can get to the Blimp Central computer, I think I can override the navigation system. Mm. Okay, that'll buy us some time to get back in the control room and stop them from hacking the prisoner lockdown system on the island. We should split into teams. I'll go with Blaine. Come on, Alex. Let's go give the baddies some of our goodies. Ooh, we leave you alone for five minutes and you do this? Relax, Monsieur Le Boot. They're just flowers. Oh! Except that one. It can smell your fear. <laughs> what are you doing back here without those pests? He let, let them, them get, get away. away. Oh! I have potting soil that's smarter than you two. It's fools like you that give criminals a bad name. Whoop Island estimated time of arrival, 10 minutes. No matter. Those girls won't be of any concern soon. With the prisoners freed from their cells, we'll be able to swoop in and gather them all. My assistants have just about cracked the code of the prison security system. Yes! Green! Is there any more delicious color? The time has come to let our plan bloom. Either this is it, or we're in the biggest tanning booth ever. My portable override anything billfold is just what I need. Wow, Blaine. You make something that would normally seem nerdy so totally cool. That's what good agents like us do. Get ready, because you might feel a little bump here. Ready for Operation Crimea River? <gasps> yes! Oh! 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 
Whoever's at the controls isn't giving up without a fight. Here, this one should do it. Um, it should? Why? Red's always been my lucky color. Like my uniform. Nice one, Clover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <gasps> oh, you <clears throat> stupid <clears throat> bag of hot air! Wolf <clears throat> Island estimated time of arrival, three minutes. <laughs> hey, easy does it there, cowboy. <laughs> 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 Super pointy things inside a giant balloon. Gotcha. Okay, get ready. Shoo, little fly. Or should I say, shoo? I got you, Sammy. Phew! At least this thing's flying steady. Maybe now Blade and Clover have gotten control. Like autumn, because it's time to fall. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, slight change of plans. You know how you got the blimp to stop shaking? That was awesome. Now make it shake. I'm on it. Game over, girls. Time for us to pick up our criminal friends and show you how it feels to be locked up! Ah! Um, totally great plan, Sam. Except for a little thing called gravity. We're going to fall, too. Eat orchid. Need a little thing called a cable bungee belt. Quite a good team. Hmm? Punch it in, Team Whoop. Let's head topside. <sighs> that may not have been exactly the way it was drawn up, but we can tell Jerry we delivered the villains to Whoop Island. But let's not tell him the part where all the prisoners on the island were freed and we had to put them back in their cells. So plain. I guess this means, you know, you and me, the hottest two items at Whoop, together once again. You're really great, Clover, but here's the thing. I'm done dating girls from L.A. The last one, Mandy, was just so high maintenance. You dated Mandy? <laughs> Good job on the mission, sport. Oh, I can't believe Mandy ruined Blaine for me. It'll be okay, Clover. Maybe it's a sign to take a break from dating exes. Ugh, you're probably right. Okay, break's over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, another mission accomplished. Time to head back to Whoop. Yeah! Hey, what's happening? Ah! Yay! You're just 
just what I'm looking for to add to my collection. I just love working out with my besties. Not only are we an amazing spy team, but we make one totally awesome yoga aerobics team, too. Now just relax and breathe. Hello, girls. Jerry? Wow! I'm truly sorry to interrupt your morning workout. Interrupt it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, please. I've got great news. <gasps> We're finally getting that trip to Fiji we've always wanted? <laughs> From this moment on, you will no longer be working as a team, but as solo spies. Congratulations! What? Oh, you mean you're breaking us up? Uh, Why would you do that? Sure. Especially when we work so totally well together. No, I think you've misunderstood. It means you're ready to spy on your own, just like all my other agents do. This is a huge promotion for you. But what if we don't want to spy on our own? Hmm. Oh, my. Then I fear you're not going to like what I have to say next. Mm. Hmm. You three will no longer be living together in the penthouse. <laughs> huh? What? No way! Please, uh, girls, let me finish. Uh, you'll each be getting your own rooms in West Coast Hall, which will not only make you more independent, but better spies. Plus, you'll still be close by. Not close enough! I can't imagine my life without my girls. Oh. I know this is a lot to take in all at once, but rest assured, I'll be here to support you every step of the way. And trust me, you'll soon see that it's all for the best. <gasps> Some promotion? How could you do this to us? Uh. Uh -huh. <gasps> Ew, Tarin! Huh? Do you smell that? The stench of intruders in my new penthouse pad! <sighs> Beat it, Mandy. We don't have time for your games. I'm sorry, Clover, but room quarrels will have to wait. <gasps> I whooped you here because of a dire situation that's unfolding. Agents the world over have been reported missing. You mean like our fellow Whoop agents? One, Ronaldo, is from Whoop. The other two are from affiliate spy agencies. Ronaldo? Isn't he that new agent with the dark hair and dreamy blue eyes? Indeed he is. Clover. Ah. Uh. You'll check out a posh flat in London where an elite agent named Kip from the British Intelligence Service has gone missing. You'll need the hair clip monster grip to assist you. <laughs> Alex. You'll investigate a remote warehouse in northern Canada where a Canadian agent named Hillary hasn't been heard from in weeks. Here's the zip line bracelet and eyelash curler catapult. Sam. I need you to look into Ronaldo's disappearance. His whoop chopper went down in the desert outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Please use the rocket fuel mules in your investigation. Sam gets Ronaldo? Lucky. Okay, girls. Enough chit chat. It's now time to embark on your very first mission as solo spies. I know it stinks, guys. But it isn't the end of the world. I mean, our friendship is way too strong to be compromised by this. Or anything. Oh. You're right, Sammy. Totes! Yeah. Hugsy! <laughs> wow, Kip is cute with a capital C. Don't you think we'd make a dreamy couple, girls? Girls? Oh, right. I'm on my own. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is get spying. Mm hmm?
supposed to find anything in all this snow? I can't even find the door, girls! Girls? Oh, right. I'm a solo spy now. Sure looks like there was a struggle. Question is, was it over the last piece of... Dog kibble? <gasps> ah, that explains the dog kibble. Are you still hungry, boy? Spying alone is way harder than it looks. Hmm. It almost looks as if the chopper was roped during a rodeo or something. Don't you think it's weird, girls? Girls? Oh. <laughs> Maybe Jer can make sense of it. Huh? Ah! Huh? Uh oh, rocket fuel mules! Get me out of here! are doing better than I am. Today was an overactive propeller blade. We need to have a major catch up sesh. Hmm. Just not right now, because I've got advanced textiles in 10. And I've got journalism class. How about we meet up for dinner? Oh, I wish I could, but I've got a puppy 101 quiz to cram for. Oh. oh. We'll catch up soon, right? Definitely. Definitely. I could sure use some space, Oinky. What do you say to a little study sesh? Just the two of us. <laughs> Hey! You can't keep us in here. We demand to be released immediately. Ah! Uh, huh? Not to worry, spies. You won't be inside for long. My new collection is almost complete! Huh? <laughs> Uh-oh! Looks like it's spy time! You'll 
be hearing from my stylist. Yeah, we're not some dolls you can just play with. Now see, that's where you're wrong. Besides, Volterra thinks you all look really pretty. Right, Volterra? <gasps> Wait, you're our supervillain? Hardly. The name's Fangirl, and I'm the ultimate fan and collector of everything spy-themed. <laughs> Film, television, comic books, video games, action figures, you name it! Whoa, that's quite the collection. Thanks! And now that you're here, it's totally complete! Yay! Hmm, so what? Now you've decided to collect us? Yep. I've traveled the world, and there's literally nothing left for me to collect! Except living, breathing spies! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take extra good care of you! Yeah. No thanks! And besides, how did you even hear about us? On a totally underground fan website. And FYI, you three have a humongo following! Really? How, humongo? Clover! Oh, right. Never mind. I think it's time you let us out of here! Really wish I could. But Volterra and I have talked, and we have other plans. <laughs> uh, what's that for? All collectors have one thing in common. We love to play with our toys! All of you will compete against each other to see which spy is the best! Starting with you three. Winner gets their own gold-plated box and a special place of honor on my collection shelf. You can't be serious. We're people, not toys. Duh. Don't you think I know that? Don't worry. The gold-plated box has plenty of air holes. Hmm. Let the games begin! Side. At least we get to spend some time together. Yeah, only this is so not how I imagined our big reunion moment. Ah, even Oinky wants a hug. All right, all right. Enough hugging, more fighting. Oh, please. Like we'd ever fight each other. Yeah, we're besties. You'd have to literally force us. <sighs> Luckily, that can be arranged. while I take the power out of her power trip, okay? You got it, Sammy! <sighs> hey, where'd the other one go? Don't you get it? 
get it? Voltaire's just a silly plastic doll. And you're just an overeager collector. You can't hurt us. Hmm. Huh? Oopsie. I managed to get my hands on the original Volterra spy robot, as used in my fave TV show growing up. What's she gonna do, whack us with her magnifying glass? Luckily, I've made some slight modifications. can stop the mighty Volterra, the most indestructible spy bot from a TV show that ever fought crime! Luckily, this isn't an ordinary cable. Hit it, girls! <laughs> My prized collection! Yeah! Go. Phew, at least. Make that four. I know because that was the same day I was on bathroom duty. It took me three hours of scrubbing to get the oinky ring out of the bathtub. See? What would I do without my roomies? Oh, if only Jer could see how well we work together. Yeah. Then he'd totally realize that we aren't meant to be solo spies. We're meant to be a team. Forever and always. Ah, group hugsy. <laughs> <laughs> Another job well done, girls. What's gonna happen to Fangirl now? Fangirl's extensive collection will be sold off for charity, and we're closing this underground website. Suffice it to say, she won't be needing them where she's going. Well then, I guess this is good night? Yeah, I should really get back to studying. And I should try to nab Kip's digits before he splits. But let's try to get together for lunch tomorrow. I could really use some quality girl time. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Not so fast, girls. I've got great news. Oh, sorry, Jer, but we've had all the great news we can handle from you for one day. No, I think you've misunderstood. In light of how adeptly you work together to take down Fangirl, I've reconsidered my position. You three will no longer be acting as solo spies, but as the fantastic team you were always meant to be. Congratulations! What? No way! For real? I do apologize, girls. I was merely following Whoop policy. But even Whoop policy isn't foolproof. Now, group hugs in? <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Where are we gonna live? On account of Mandy totally copped our digs. Never fear. You girls will be back in the penthouse just as soon as Whoop has finished renovating. Promise we'll always stay together. You can count on it. Forever and always. That's right, girls. BFFs to the end. Totally. Yeah!